everybody welcome back we're gonna play the sims today i know it's a weird time i don't normally stream in the morning on tuesdays but i'm going to see olivia rodrigo later uh so i can't be live later <laughs> so we have to be live now which is fine um it's gonna be really fun but just to let you know also uh the fun part about this is that i'm planning on trying to use the crystal creations pack to see if we can make a bunch of like you know the one that makes your sims needs go up I want to get that and put it in like the infant room in our new house. Like I'm I'm just trying to think of ways that we can make this crystal stuff work for us. And I think that's going to be good. So that is the plan. <laughs> Hi Hannah, how are you? Hi everybody. <laughs> Stripey, thank you for the 28 month resub. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to load into the save, the correct save. Got here before the notification. Nice, nice. <laughs> Meg, Liv, Judith, thank you for the resubs too. Um, this one. We don't have that many kids in our household right now, actually, which is gonna be nice. It'll be kind of a slow one. <laughs> Less people to worry about. <laughs> also, last time we played, we built a new house. We made like a micro home. It doesn't look like a micro home, but it functions like a micro home because we did some sneaky things in the game. Um, so we have that going for us too. <laughs> so we've made things hopefully uh, a lot better for us. We've uh, been going to great lengths to make this challenge hopefully finish more quickly, you know? <laughs> and it's your first stream! Hey, Nikki, welcome in. It's good to see you. Um, you're super early today, everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I normally stream at this time on Wednesdays, so it's not that out of the ordinary, but I'm going to a concert tonight. Um, so I can't stream later, because I'll be gone. <laughs> um, so I'm here now, so I can still stream today, but I just can't be live in the afternoon, because, you know... Plans. <laughs> we need to get, we have stuff to do later. Okay, so anyway, here's the house. Let me turn the lights on so I can show you again. Um, here is the situation. When I say it's a micro home, you're probably like, how? How, Kayla? Well, this part is the only part of the house that's actually a room. The rest of it's all fake rooms. Um, so we've kind of been a little bit sneaky, and the game is giving us micro home perks, despite the fact that it is small. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I think that crystals are going to be really helpful for us with this. One slight problem is that I sincerely doubt there are, like, any collectibles up here. There's maybe a couple of flowers, but, like, realistically, I don't think that this neighborhood is very good for crystals. So we might have to go somewhere else to dig around and look. Yeah, I'm not seeing any crystal spots. I'm seeing, like, a couple dig spots and some plants, but... Yeah, I didn't think so. There, a lot of the worlds that they've made, like, more recently are not really heavy on the collectibles. I guess that, like, visually it makes sense, but it's kind of annoying functionally because you probably want to have them and you can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of the newer worlds have less of the collectible spots, just generally. This one's Del Sol Valley, so it isn't even that new, but, like... In the base game ones and the earliest couple of packs have the most um, out of everybody. So, <laughs> Audrey and Be Happy and Nicole, uh, Marty, Simmer, Ali, uh, Slimply, Enrica and Ghost and Eleanor and Woman and Wicked and Wear the Sun and Bridge and Meg and Live and Let Play. Thank you all for the subs. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you all had a good morning so far. Sitting in the school bus, nice. <laughs> Science career, yeah, that would also be good. I, I, we're not gonna get a job. Is the problem? <laughs> What a silly thing to say. Uh, we're not going to get a job, but we, um, yeah, we're not going to get a job specifically because we are going to have, oh, where am I going to put my new crystal stuff? Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to get a job because we need to be home with the kids. Um, I guess I can clear up some of this. We can just put it in our art room and make the art room have less art. We can't do a basement because keep in mind, the game thinks it's a micro home. Um, the game thinks that this is the only room that is a room. The rest of these are not rooms. Like, when I click on them, it's just a wall. Do you see the difference? Um, so we can't do a basement because we, we have only 30 tiles right now. So we're getting, like, double skill gain, double everything. So we can't have a basement. Um, because then we wouldn't get our perks anymore. <laughs> so all of that would have been for nothing. Okay, let me grab the crystal stuff quick. Um, and then we can add some of that in. Hi, Dika, how are you? We are currently, oh, there's my Stanley Humphrey table. Thank you very much. We are currently going to try and use the crystal pack to see if we can make the baby challenge easier. 
Uh, that's our experiment of the day. <laughs> um, let me put a crystal art piece up on the wall too. I like that one with all the crystals on it. Maybe I hang that up and this. I wish I had more wall space, but I, I guess it is a micro home, so <laughs> take what you can get, I guess. Um, and then lastly, I'm gonna want to get the, um, oh, you know what? The crystals might be a fun way for us to make money too. I'll grab this. Let me get a, can I put it on there? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Let me grab a table too, so we can put it up. Um, Okay, do I like the crystal pack? I have been having so much fun with it, Mills. I think that um, I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would. Not that I thought I wouldn't like it, but I, I guess I just, I didn't realize how useful all of the crystals were going to be. Like, it seems like a very effective tool for like helping us in our homes and stuff. Um, a little bit more effective than I expected it would be, I guess. Um, and so I've really been enjoying that. It's It's been a fun addition for that reason. All right, kids, let's get everybody to bed. We can hopefully sleep through the night. How, are you pregnant? Oh my God, third trimester. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the gameplay boosts that come with it. Well, you'll see today, cause we're gonna try and like mess with it to see if it works for this. Um, but the gameplay boosts that you can get from it are really helpful. <laughs> Where did I put the daddies? Oh, they're all back here. We have kind of like a line going of all of them. Have I found a new baby daddy? We're, we have to let it low because we need to find somebody who's alive. If you see anybody who's alive in this, let me know. Because <laughs> we need to find someone who's living. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Go back to bed. Yeah, we're in Del Sol Valley. We haven't really played much here in a while because you know how I feel about it, but... Um, okay. Anyone living or have I not found a new baby daddy yet? Uh-oh. Grim Reaper. Wow. Um, okay, so I don't think I found anybody new yet, so that's kind of a problem. Let me look at this real quick, too. I guess I could have checked here first. Yeah, we don't have anybody after Steve. Oh, dear. Okay, so... Um, in the morning, we're gonna need to worry about that. Why? Is there a reason that you won't sleep through the night? I know you're still awake for a reason. No, she hasn't aged up yet. She's still only a young adult. She's gonna become an adult, um, soon, because it's her birthday, but, uh, the bonus is that you don't age while you're pregnant. So as long as we can get her pregnant again straight away, um, she won't age up. <laughs> She'll stay this. But she's not, she's only a young adult, so she won't be, like, old or anything. She'll just be... An adult in a minute. Um, you have a spreadsheet? Yeah, it's really helpful for the baby challenge specifically because uh, we mark on here like all of the kids that we've had um, and with who, and I zoomed in way too much on that. Um, we mark on here like all the kids that we've had and who we had them with. We have a list of all the name suggestions from people that donated during our charity stream when we were like organizing all this. Um, so anyway, <laughs> did you? Tell me you didn't scrap that. No, you didn't. Oh my god. I was gonna cry if you did. We're fine. She just started a new one on her own. Okay. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh my goodness. Yeah, a lot of her kids are older than her now. In fact, quite a few of her kids have died of old age. Um, we have, if you look at the spreadsheet again, look, uh, at the top of this list, do you see this like little hourglass emoji? That means they died of old age. Um, this one, Neighborhood Stories, is a knife emoji, and this means they died of other causes. As in, they died when they aged up into young adults because they were having a mood swing, so they died of emotion <laughs> on their birthday. Um, but yeah, the hourglass is Sims that have died of old age, so quite a few of our kids have died of old age already. Um, most of the earliest kids are dead. Um, okay, so... We'll just keep sleeping, and then I guess as soon as the... Well, maybe... Did I start talking to anybody yet? I don't know. It's hard because my usual method of, like, making a club doesn't really work because it keeps trying to add people into the club that are, like, related to me, but I guess it's not too bad right now because most of these sims aren't. Lilith! Uh-oh. Let's have a kid with Lilith next. 
I think that's one of our kids. Yeah, Taco has passed away. Which one is that? Yeah, that would be an old age. See? What did I tell you? <laughs> they keep dying. The way I just cross it off as well. <laughs> that's terrible. Um, anyway. <laughs> we'll have to go get Lilith. I guess we can try and call her over here. I'll do that in a minute. I'll let my sim get some food first, and then we'll do that. Okay, P Wood and Maxi and Onyx and Popcat and Emily and Avalyn and Clara and Stay and Jen and Kendi. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, oh, it should be the hourglass emoji. You're right. I don't know why I clicked that one. It's because that one was the closest to it. So I just grabbed the one below, above it or something. Taco Bell died of old age. Um, oh my God. This the word. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let me just address it real quick. The word pregnant is blocked in my chat. I know it's very annoying when we're playing like the 100 baby challenge. It's because nonstop, all day, every day, people try and accuse me of being pregnant and it's so unbelievably frustrating and annoying to me that I had to block the word because I got so sick of it. Um, I know it's really weird for a challenge like this when the word is blocked. I guess I probably could unblock it and just deal with it, but it's so annoying to be like, oh my God, I have a headache. And then chat's like, why are you pregnant? No, <laughs> like stop. It's so annoying. Um, it's so annoying. So anyway, if you had to deal with that too, you probably feel the same way. Um, but it's frustrating with like the Sims challenge because the Sim being pregnant is different, but <sighs> yeah, that would be why. Um, annoying people kind of ruin it for everybody because I just get so sick of seeing it. So, um, okay. And then I'll have these sims get ready with their own needs. Oh my god, your fun is so low. Okay, watch a movie. These kids, if we could get you aged up today. Oh, you're not even close. See, this is where we encounter some problems. You see how weird the flooring looks? That's because the flooring has like outdoor lighting. So that's why it's like looking kind of strange because it's a fake room. So the game thinks it's inside because it has a roof, but the floor specifically has outdoor lighting. Um, because the game thinks that it's not a room, even though it is on purpose, because we're trying to keep it a micro home, so. Um, oh, really, Cora? Yeah, it's very frustrating. I, I wish that people didn't have this mentality about other people. Like, I don't understand why people find it so okay to, like, speculate about those things about people. Um, it's, it's always quite shocking to me when when you see it, I guess. Um, Cause it seems like it should be kind of general knowledge that pregnancy is like a sore subject for a lot of people because you don't know what they're going through and maybe they just don't want kids. Like there's so many reasons that it's like not okay to, to bring that up to strangers. <laughs> and yet so many people bring it up to strangers. <laughs> like, anyway, um, I'm gonna try and talk to Lilith and we'll get this baby lined up and ready to go. Um, yeah, anyway. General rule of thumb is don't ask. If they want to talk to you about it, they'll tell you. Let them bring it up. It's not your place to ask <laughs> at any point. Um, okay. Also, hi, Dad. How are you? Hello, Lilith. Oh, I can sell that thingy, too. Oh, no. Go away. My game is being kind of laggy right now, huh? This is the perk of the micro home. Like, look at how easy this is. Ooh, do I need to reload the game? Look at how laggy it is. Maybe we should. Do I have a woohoo bush here? Hmm, I don't think I do. I might need to get one. I might need to grab one. We'll start there. Do they really, Waldo? I cannot believe, like at work, they just bring that up to you? Why, why do people do stuff like that? That is unbelievable. You got an Aquaphor advertisement? Oh my God, on my stream. <laughs> I'm allergic to Aquaphor. It made my entire face puff up. That's the joke in case you weren't ever, if you never um, heard that happen to me. But yeah, I, <laughs> the fact that they're playing an Aquaphor ad on my stream. Um. Yeah, we don't have a woohoo bush. We had a woohoo bush at our old house. We don't have a woohoo bush here, I think is the situation. That's okay. It fits perfectly right there. Um, okay. Yeah, I see, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um, if you ever see me out in public, you're totally welcome to say hello. Um, don't need to feel bad about that. Um, 
Uh, for a rose? First kiss? Okay, that solves that problem. So this way, as soon as, um, as soon as our baby is born, we can woohoo with Lilith and, and get pregnant again. Build the house for the legacy challenge. Okay, so again, uh, like I mentioned in my video yesterday, we're gonna do that on Friday. I assume that people who are coming in and talking to me about that just saw the video and they're like, why aren't you building it? <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, so not quite yet. Not quite yet. Um, okay. So we've got that handled. Let's take a photo with her real quick too. So I can get that lined up. Um, outside. All right, um, am I having a glitch where when you sell stuff from the inventory or via the sell button, it gives you less money? Um, you can only make money from build buy mode. Wait, I don't know if I've encountered that. I'm not sure I know what the problem is. That's super weird. Okay, I'll just leave this here so that we have it saved and we'll put her grave there when we get it. Um, how are the kids doing quickly? You have so many skills, like you have to age up on Monday. You should probably be fine too. I have sort of complicated feelings about this because, oh my God, it's being so laggy. Cause I want to go out and go hunting for crystals, but I also think that we need to stay home with the kids. Maybe we should do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow while they're at school. I think that's the best course of action. Okay, I'll have my Sim come start designing something. Maybe you could cut... Okay. Let's cut a gemstone. Let's look through these and see what's better. Creative skills faster. Relationship with family members increase faster. Mental skills faster. It takes longer to burn out. Social need doesn't decay. Okay. That makes embarrassed and sad. Let's do the alabaster next. Let's get the... Um... Let's get this peach one first so we can get our relationship with family increasing faster. That's a simple one. We don't really need it, but... No, actually, Clockwork, I am not going to use the twins crystal. There's a lot of ways to encourage your sims to be more likely to have twins. Um, you don't really need to have a crystal to do that. Here's here's my thought on the... Oh, don't destroy the school. Is that not yours? No. My thought is that I don't want twins, <laughs> which is always kind of shocking to people that are maybe new to the challenge. They're like, wait, why? Like, why wouldn't you want to have twins? Um, but believe it or not, the twins are actually really bad in this because it makes it so that you aren't always pregnant. You want to be pregnant nonstop because it makes your sims not age. So when you have one at a time, you can kind of keep like a conveyor belt of babies which sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Having like three at once or like triplets or twins totally throws off the like, the conveyor belt. Again, sounds really bad, but that's kind of how it works. I'm going to reload the whole thing because this is not going well. It's, I think we need to refresh the game. Um, so. <laughs> no, JJ, I already told people I was going to see Olivia Rodrigo. I'm not too worried about with, um, I guess with like a big event like this, there's gonna be so many people at the concert. Like it's not that big of a deal. I don't think to say like, oh, I'm going to that one. It's more things like when I went to the Stardew Valley concert, that's a way significantly smaller venue. Um, like a couple thousand people sort of situation um, versus like, you know, a bajillion. I don't know how many people fit in the Amway Center. Sorry, this is the Kia Center now. <laughs> they changed the name like last month in Orlando. Um, let me see the capacity of that one. 20,000, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna play House Slipper tomorrow, I think, that's the plan. Um, yeah, twin infants, dealing with two infants at once, bugs, so annoying, it's just only so much you can handle, you know? Yeah, the Amway Center is the Kia Center now, they changed it. A Amway is objectively a worse brand, I know that, but it's just, change is weird, you know? Change is weird. <laughs> like Kia, yeah, like the car, not Ikea, like the the furniture store. <laughs> so, the Ikea center would be better. But no, just Kia like the car. <laughs> um, when you add the creator code at checkout for Sims Packs, you put it in the promo code box, like where you would put a discount code. It's not a discount code. 
um, it will give you 0% off, but it does give me 5% of the purchase. Uh, but you put it in the disco discount code box at checkout, promo code or whatever it says. Um, but anyway, the plan is to try and get, we need to like hunt for crystals so we can get some more of the rare crystals. But the plan is to try and get some that like we can use to make our sim skills increase faster and our needs increase faster and our bad moodlets go away faster and all of this. <laughs> that is the plan. Um, yeah, like the security and stuff is more, it's better because it's more ticketed and because it's so busy, not more ticketed, sorry, just bigger, there's more tickets. Um, and it's so busy that, um, I don't know. It's hard to target a specific individual, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, did they, do any, Yeah, they change all of the... Um, oh, that's a good question, Christine. Does the charging grid... I think we're back. Sorry, everybody. My whole PC died again. That hasn't happened in a couple of weeks. <laughs> So that's very annoying and um, upsetting, <laughs> uh, but my, it happened again. So luckily I had just saved the game because I reloaded the game. I had just like reopened the game completely. So um, not the worst timing, I guess. <laughs> and I suppose that explains why my computer was struggling so much and it was being so laggy, but I'm back, I'm back. Again, whole thing died, so that's not ideal. <laughs> That's not ideal. It's fine. It's fine. This happens to me only in the morning on stream, which is an interesting revelation, I guess. And it never happens when I record, only when I stream and sometimes when I'm not streaming. But maybe it has to do with like the like when I first turned my PC on. I mean, it's been on for like an hour, but I don't know. Well, <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> no, we're not moving our morning streams to Tuesday. I, today is a special occasion because I'm going to a concert later, so I can't stream later. So we're li live now instead. Um, anyway, if you can hear that, that's Dan opening the garage. Sorry if that's, I'm, I'm above the garage. So <laughs> it's uh, loud, I guess. Ooh, that's beautiful. I love seeing the featured builds. It's so nice that they actually like started showing different builds on the feature page. Um, yeah, it is Tuesday. Last week we had a little switcheroo with the Tuesday schedule and Wednesday schedule too, where I streamed in the morning on Tuesday instead. But that's, it's just because of like the pack came out last week. So we had early access. And the thing with early access is that you can only stream it and post videos after a certain time. There's like an embargo until 1 p.m. or whatever it is. Um, it was 3 p.m. Eastern time last time. And so you can't post anything until after that time. So I, I could stream early access to the Sims pack on Wednesday, but only after three o'clock. So I went live at four when I normally do um, last Wednesday. So, <laughs> Emma, thank you for the resub. I'm really sorry. I um I think there was a couple subs while I was gone. Need Flying and Princess and Lacey and Simply and Ori and Vera. Thank you so much. Uh, Queen as well. Thank you. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's how it works. Um, so that's why we were live in the afternoon instead. So, and we did a little switch stream in the morning on Tuesday. All right, we're back and things are not being laggy this time. So that's cool. We just have to get these toddler skills up enough that we can age them up. Did you, oh, you did you finish that or do you have to resume it? Okay, resume it. There you go. Not bad. We just keep an eye on these now then. Let me see how it goes. You had to fully close Twitch to access the new stream. That's so annoying. Yeah, I, I know. I don't really understand it, um, like how it the, the reloading works. It's not good that my stream died because it kind of messed with everybody's stuff. Um, the important next question is, oops, sorry. I was trying to open my own stream. The important next question is to see if it cut the VOD in half or if it stayed as just one stream. Dang it. It's not just one stream. Okay, that's fine. Um, I was hoping the VOD would stay together. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it a little bit easier when I go to export the thing to YouTube, but it's all right. It's all right. Okay, you talk to this thing too. Um, yeah, you always have to refresh, but I'm surprised that um, it made you like completely close out of it. Um, okay, what time is it at my place? It's like 9.30 in the morning, so it's not too late right now. All right, everybody should be set up though. I think we should be okay. 
The double skill gain is a huge help for these toddlers. <laughs> We're gonna be able to age them up in a minute, and that's gonna be really good. Um, so we've got that going for us. Look at that, you see how fast that goes? I don't get this baby challenge, you have four babies, not 64. I, I think that you have a misunderstanding of the concept of the challenge, because people ask this question a lot. The challenge is not to like, have 100 kids in your household all at once. The challenge is to successfully raise 100 kids as fast as possible. And as you know, the Sims only lets you have eight Sims in a household. So you have a full household, and this is how many kids that I've had. Um, but you get rid of them after they age up. Um, and you keep going. So it's a it's a different kind of challenge than maybe you're thinking. The, the goal is not to have a hundred kids. That would be a, a way faster challenge if you had to like have a hundred at once. This one takes way longer because you have to actually raise them all completely. Um, that would be a completely different challenge that needs mods. This one you don't need any mods. <laughs> uh, but you raise and then get rid of them, which is why we've had 64. Um, uh, I think having a hundred would break the game too. So. Anyway, <laughs> Nebula, Squidward, Alpha, Nera, Stevie, Ember, thank you for the subs. People ask that a lot. Um, and it, you could do it as like a silly, goofy, like, you know, play for an hour, see how it goes, but your game's probably gonna break. <laughs> and it's probably not worth your time or effort, because it's just, it doesn't, it wouldn't work. Um, the times that I've had like 30 sims in a household for various challenges have been a complete disaster. Like unbearably miserable when we play like, remember like the, um, the, oh, my Spotify's off. That explains why it's so quiet. Um, remember when we played like the, uh, crowd control sim stream where people can spawn sims into your household and stuff? Um, it would be like that. Just really frustrating. Okay, both the kids can age up now. Does the charging work in the fake room? Yeah, the charging works outside. So it, it'll work in the fake room. Um, it, it has to do with like literal physical proximity to it and not so much um, to do with rooms, so. All right, that's one sim. Get them aged up. I'll probably add the birthday candles back to this. So, oh, don't take a piece, don't take a piece. Oh my God, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay. Oh, did you take a piece anyway? Have birthday candles. Okay. Well, what I was going to say is we play this, we age the kids up when they get- No! You're a vampire! Oh my god! You can't even eat that! Why isn't Dan streaming? Dan's never live in the morning, Pinky. Um, only I stream in the mornings. Um, I guess if you mean like, why isn't Dan streaming? Because uh, he's gonna have to cancel later too, because we're going to the concert. Um, that's because he has work to do in the morning. <laughs> he has to edit the video for today. I already recorded the video for today because I was a little bit more- Ew! I was a little bit more ahead with the recording because, um, it was a little bit quicker to record than edit and stuff. He had a bunch of long videos to edit because of the pack coming out over the weekend, so. Anyway. Okay, well, I'm gonna kill Lilith as soon as we, uh, are ready. <laughs> Mark my words, <laughs> I'll be getting rid of her. We have to have a, um, we have to have the baby first and then we can get pregnant. So we'll do it then. You wanna live together? No. No. No, 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 we won't be doing that. No, thank you. Also, I saw someone ask if we can give Rosa a makeover for adulthood. She's not gonna be an adult for a while. Um, you don't have to worry about that too much. <laughs> She's actually not gonna be aging up anytime soon. Um, I'm gonna let her finish this cake and then age up the last toddler real quick. Um, add birthday candles, please. But we'll give birth and then get pregnant immediately. And then she won't age up as long as we can get pregnant before she ages up autonomously, but we should be okay. She has a crown on her plum bob because there's a club meeting active and she's like the leader of the club. So, okay, leave me alone. You have a crush, go for it, that's fine. All right, happy birthday, kid. Genius, that's a good one. Are you tired too? Yeah, I guess you could probably shower and then go sleep now. Oh, we're autonomously giving birth right now in the house. Oops, okay. 
Well, we will um, randomize the baby name then in a second. As soon as it's born. Okay, not randomized. Randomized from like our spreadsheet. So in case you're new to this, we have a spreadsheet of all a bunch of name suggestions that were recommended to us by people who donated to our charity fundraiser uh, back last May. So every single name on this, someone gave $25 to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, but we're gonna grab one of these randomly here, obviously. Um, and we'll name the kid that, number 942, okay. We go off of the big number, by the way. Shrimpy! <gasps> They have a cat named- this was before I found shrimp. This would have been before shrimp was even born. Oh, that's wild. I bet this person is probably like, there's no way I have a shrimp and now she has a shrimp. There, that's so funny. <laughs> that's really cool, actually. Okay, well, they're shrimpy. Um, let me also add really quick, let me add a column for the next baby too. Uh, this one, what's her name again? Lilith? That's right. Um, we'll get pregnant with Lilith's baby next. Oh, and Lilith is a vampire. Let me grab this. That's hilarious. When we had a kid with, with Caleb, it was Lil Slazy. And now with this one, it's Shrimpy. Okay. Or no, I guess before it was Shrimpy, not this one. They secretly inspired you. Well, the thing is, I uh, I don't know if I if I really looked all that closely at the name list <laughs> before I named my cat. There, can you join kids club? No. There's a long list of names. There's so many. It's easy to uh, to forget about them. <laughs> I didn't know that was on there. That's so fun. Um, you're so organized with yours, you lost track. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have good reason to be organized with mine though, because like obviously people come and they have questions like, oh, who have you had kids with? How many kids have you had? So by having the spreadsheet, we can like easily answer people's questions like that, um, which is a huge help, so. Yeah, this is a nice room with a dining table, isn't it? All right, go woohoo, please. Um, yeah, Catherine Lover, the guy named Steve is the parent of the last baby. Lilith is gonna be the parent of this baby. She's also gonna die in the sun, so that's no good. Um, let me up the baby count too. We've had 65. I'll have to change my stream title as well. Oops, are you pregnant? No? Oh my god, uh, that's so inconvenient. Try again inside, see if that works. Cause she can't be outside in the bush cause she's gonna die. Lilith wants to come over to hang out. I'm also seeing, oh my God, you can be my girlfriend, that's fine. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people ask again what, what this crown is. It's because there's a club meeting active. Um, so the crown is because of the club meeting. That's why she has this weird thing too. Cause she's a club member. Did she eat the cake? Oh no, this cake is fine. We should be good. We have a picture already. I got it the other day. So we do have our picture ready. So we're fine there. Um, okay. Well, let's see how this goes. Maybe we'll get pregnant this time. Your sim is dating Lilith because they bonded after you accidentally killed her brother. Oh! <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Sorry, and Sky, and Lisa, and, and Mocktail, and Kit Kat. Thank you for the subs. Are you pregnant now? Oh my god, can I just like force it? No. I think maybe it's because she's in a bad mood. Hard to say. The kid's gonna be upset now. No! No! No, no, no! We took too long to get pregnant. Oh, we're an adult. It's okay. It's okay. It's been a long time coming. It's been our birthday for a while. <sighs> well, that's Lilith's fault. You know what's wild is Lilith is immortal and she's out here the reason that we're closer to death. Cause she's slow. <sighs> I can't feed the kid either cause I'm trying to get pregnant. I guess we're in less of a rush now. But it's okay. 
It's okay. Is there a sim version of the age down treat? Um, there's a, a like potion of youth, but that just resets. Yeah, we're pregnant now. The potion of youth resets your age span. So if I had used it before now, then we would have like reset our young adult stage to like the beginning, but I didn't use it first. So um, we, uh, oh, do a super efficient newborn care actually. Well, we're pregnant. Come on. All right, let me get rid of this one. How should I kill her? Um, maybe, how about poison? No, the sun's too obvious. My thought is like, let's get her with something else. You know? How many times has Lilith died in the sun and other people's things, you know? Watch this. Goodbye! Oh, that was easy. Okay. So... The baby should be taken care of. Do you want to quickly age it up? No, no, ignore that. Come on. Here we go, get our first infant. Sunny! Oh, wait, wait! <laughs> the baby is named Shrimpy and it randomized the Sunny trait? Now there's no way. <laughs> Both my cat's names randomized? That's so funny. <laughs> and it's got black hair! They're black cats. That's so weird. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, okay. Would you like to come put the kid down on this thing? Put Trippy here. We have to be nice to this one. This kid is important now. <laughs> all right, can most of you all go to bed? I, I feel strongly that I don't think you're sad about this. And I mean that, like, I don't really understand why you're pretending to be upset because you didn't know her and everybody dies here. So it shouldn't really be a shock. Okay, let me grab this and put it outside. Oh, where do I go? Over here, okay. So here's, oh, let me get my move objects on. Would you quit calling me? So that was, Steve was baby number 65. Lilith is number 66. Let me name that so I don't forget. All right. And then let me change the stream title also to increase the baby count. Yay. All right, that problem solved. <laughs> uh, Cassie, Rachel, Ruby, peace, love, and sweet pea, thank you for the subs too. All right, kiddo, I'm gonna have you start looking at some of your toys quick and I'll let your mom take care of her own needs. And then tomorrow, when the kids are at school, we shall deal with um, getting some more crystals. All right, go away. Nice. What is in the backyard? Oh, um, a collection of graves. The two back rows are baby daddies. The front row is my kids that I've had die while they're here. Why are there two graves on top of each other? I had to kill some Sims twice. There was like a glitches that resulted in me having to kill them twice a couple times. Three times total. So that would be the reason. Smile milestone unlocked. Good for you, kiddo. Let me see if I can get you to play with these too. All right, what I really want is to have that crystal so I can make their needs go up while they're in here. When did the graves leave the basement? Oh, last week I built a new house. We don't have a basement in this house because the game thinks it's a micro home. So the graves are no longer in the basement because we can't have a basement because then it wouldn't be a micro home, basically. Um, why do you have the rocket ship? Oh, I was using it as like a little uh, side quest, I guess. I don't really need it right now because my new side quest is crystals, but uh, that's the reason, is that it was gonna be a fun side quest to go to space. So, <laughs> we'll get there eventually. <laughs> when, when you play a challenge like this, it gets quite repetitive, so it's fun to have like other things to do. Have you killed 65 babies? No, 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 no. 
We have not killed any babies. We killed the dads. Some babies have died. I mean, I'll show you the spreadsheet again, but um, if you look up top, these hourglasses all died of old age. A couple died from neighborhood stories. Um, some die, if you've got parenthood, they have mood swings. Um, and so sometimes uh, when they're having a mood swing, if they uh, age up while in the mood swing, they might be like mortified or enraged, and then they might end up dying on their birthday <laughs> because of it. But that's not my fault. That's just the game's fault. And they're young adults, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, they're gone, so. Why do you kill the dads? Um, everyone always asks that question. I don't really understand what sort of answer they're expecting. Um, the, the truth of it is that it's just kind of fun, I guess. Um, and also, it helps us keep track because we can keep their graves in our yard. Um, and I guess it's, it's amusing to watch people freak out about it when we do it. And also this way, you won't have kids with the same person twice by accident. I mean, I guess you wouldn't anyway, but, um, it keeps it so that it, like, actually spawns someone new in their place and, and all that stuff. So, it's a win all around, kind of. But it's funny. Because everybody comes in chat and they're like, Oh my god, why are you doing that? And then we get to be like, because it's fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> that would be the answer. Hope that helps. Stop! Bad. The real answer is why not? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Why not? Um, all right, this kid needs taken care of. I guess I could come try and feed the baby and then put it to sleep. Come on. I'll take care of it afterward. It can go to sleep first. Oh, it's Halloween. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> Just so Kevin, Cassie, thank you for the subs. Um, so, at this point, killing the dad should be added to the challenge rules. Yeah, I think that would be kind of fun. It'd be like a cute little bonus aspect of the challenge, you know? All right, hopefully we can get some of these sims aged up today. Can you explain how you don't need a change table for infants? Oh, you never need a changing table for infants. Um, I guess if you have the Growing Together pack, you might want one because it's cool, but uh, everybody who only has the base game doesn't have changing tables. <laughs> so you can change their diaper just by holding them. Um, so you don't need one. Uh, also in this challenge, I don't change their diapers. So that's also part of it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, after this, we're gonna go out and try and get some crystals, I guess, as soon as we're done taking care of these sims. Um, yeah, it's Halloween and we're gonna have a vampire baby. That's kind of fun. We are actively expecting a vampire kid right now. Huh. Very uh, appropriate timeline wise. We're celebrating the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you like to cut another gemstone? Um, let's make the seed. Just so we can get that planted. Because that'll help us a lot. We shall start there. Oh, I forgot to put the kids to school. Oh my god, fail, 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 fail. Sorry. Sorry, that's my bad. Oh my god, it's lagging so much again, too. Yikes. The game has been struggling today. Uh, Eva, thank you for the 13, tier 3, 16 month respawn. I almost said 13 month respawn, like combine the two numbers. <laughs> tier 3, 16 months. Thank you so much. And Unicorn and, and, uh, and Twist and Kevin and everybody. Thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Um, Louise, we've been live for 20 minutes because the game, my, my whole, com well, not the game. Ah, dead Lilith wants to get married. No, the, my whole PC died for a bit there. Um, so I had to, we had to restart the stream because we were having some trouble. So that's the reason. You know what's really annoying? The, the tiny house, you know how you get like double, uh, gain of the tiny house where it makes plants grow twice as fast, skills twice as fast, everything twice as fast. Um, the, the tiny house does not affect the speed at which the crystal tree grows. 
So even if we have a tiny house, we won't get the crystal tree growing twice as fast from that. Isn't that really annoying? Um, I don't know why. It seems like an oversight to me, but yeah. Okay, let's go to the park. You know what else we can work on is maxing the handiness skill because then we can get into the crystal room. So that's another like second um, thing that we could do. So, um, okay, let's load over here and hang out. Yeah, I don't see why they made the crystal tree be like that. Did I get all the variants? Of no, I didn't buy all. I haven't bought any of uh, Taylor's album variants yet. I was waiting to see, why do I have a cow plant there? I was waiting to see um, like what variants would come out so then I could decide, but I think I'm just gonna buy the standard one. I don't know. We'll see. Crystal room? Oh, crystal world, I guess. This place is like a gem secret lot. So. All right. Um, I cannot make a generous donation to charity. I don't have that much money. She's asking me for a thousand simoleons. I've got 933. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna fish for a bit while I wait for the stuff to start spawning. And then we can go around and grab them all. Um, that's a fossil. I don't even want a fossil. But I guess we could do that. Oh my god, they're like all fossils. That's metal. There is a crystal. You access the crystal cave by maxing the handiness skill. If you've got level 10 handiness, you can get in there. That's how it works. Um, okay. Any other little crystals around? Um, that's a fossil. I don't even care to have the fossils. How does she have such little money? Because I cheated our money away last time we played. Because I had too much. Um, so I did it on purpose. Twas intentional. <laughs> uh, Marissa, Anna, Unicorn, thanks again for the subs. Um, okay, so... What is that one? Fire Opal? More successful with romantic socials. Oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> um, and the quartz makes us uh, get double satisfaction points. I guess that's cool too. Uh, those you can buy though. What I wanted to have was ones that you can't buy, but it's okay. Let's head back home. Yeah, I'll be live in the morning tomorrow, Louise. It, it, uh oh, somebody died. Um, We've, we've had a weird schedule today, I guess, and last Tuesday too, because the new pack came out and I'm going to a concert tonight. But normally I'm live at four at Eastern time on Tuesdays and not in the morning. It's just, the alternative is to cancel stream. So <laughs> I went live now instead um, so that we could still hang out and stream and stuff. Yeah, we're planting the crystal tree. Don't worry, Blue Ivy, that's the plan. We are planting the crystal tree. Um, we just started working on the skills. So we, we're still making the seed, but which add-on gives you Halloween. There actually is no default Halloween, but you can make holidays with seasons and I made Halloween. So that's how it works. Are all the babies boys? Um, no. I don't really pay attention to that. Um, they are just born and then they are what they are and I don't really care. <laughs> so. Um, hope that helps. <laughs> okay, so... The kid is right here. Do you want to put you on the mat, please? Alright, these kids can age up now, too. You have an A in school, so don't get leftovers. That's a good start. I can age you up. Blow out candles. And then all of the rest of them, you are only a B student, so you really need to come work on these. Did someone destroy yours? Oh. That stinks. Go work on yours. That one should be yours. Okay. We'll get everybody working on these things then. To start. Um. Okay. 
we'll get this one ready. We can start doing some tummy time. All will be well. Um, the problem is, because I have this infant, I, like, don't have enough time to work on the, um, the crystals. Because <laughs> I need to work with the infant, so... That's okay. As soon as the infant is tired, I'll, I'll do that. Wow! That's a look. <laughs> that is a look. I guess once we have the teen get their skills a little bit better prepared, we'll be able to have them, um... We have so many skills. Once we have them get their stuff better prepared, we'll have them help with the baby too. But we want to get their skills up a bit more, because we're trying to get our grade up. So we can finish one more project and then have them help. Lift head milestone! Okay, so the way that the infants work, at least in ours, is we try and get two milestones in every category. Um, so we have to do our first one, that's easy. I can give them a bubble bath, they'll get two at once. Um, we have to get one more gross motor, and I usually skip out on the life ones, because I don't really think that being born matters. So. <laughs> um, that's kind of how it works. What, did you stop? They always walk out of the room and then back in, it's kind of weird. Um, you think crystals aren't ideal for the challenge, they take too much work? Yeah, but the thing is, once you have them, you're, like, set up. You know? Like, it, it takes some- you have to, like, front load the work, I guess? But once you have the crystals ready, you're, like, off to a good start. Because you've got them set up and made. So, I don't know. We have to get through the, the initial work, but then you can just keep recharging them. Um... You think it's where some people are still here? Why? Because it's been an hour? I don't really understand what you mean by that. Um, a lot of people watch the stream while they're, like, truthfully, and no one tell their boss, but a lot of these people are at work right now. <laughs> a lot of these people are at work. <laughs> so they just have it open while they're, while they're working, like a podcast or something. Um, a lot of people are, are watching it like that, so... <laughs> it's not weird. <laughs> See, they're like, shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, anyway, people leave streams up a lot. It's it's a ni it's nice background noise. Um, it's kind of why people use streams. So, <laughs> perks of working from home. Yeah, see, <laughs> it's like everybody. <laughs> I saw somebody yesterday um, at the end of stream. Uh, they they were like, they said, okay, my mod screenshotted it. They said, there are so many people here. Do people not have school or work? <laughs> and the answer is, they are at school and work. But also, not necessarily everybody. Uh, people just have different schedules, you know? So, maybe it's your day off. <laughs> Roll over to back milestone. Oh, good. Okay, I can get this one aged up soon. Let me get in my bathtub, and I will give Shrimpy a bubble bath, and then we can age you up. Then you can sleep, I swear. Yeah, time zones, everything. It's all different for everybody, so... Um, people forget that, I guess. <laughs> um, oh my. You worked until 2 a.m. last night? I'm so sorry, Tor, that stinks. Um, the sizzle is something broken. Oh, I don't want you to help me, because I'm going to try and fix it, because I'm, I'm trying to get my hands in a skill maxed. So I don't need you. Um... All right, after this, we can age the kid up, so that's good. Has this- this I made today, right? It's starting to charge. It's our first one. Nice. First bath and first bubble bath. <laughs> that's why I said once we bathe them, they'll be ready to age up, because it just takes the two. When you do a bubble bath, it gives them two milestones. So we've got all of the things we need to age up the infant. So we'll start there. I guess the the main thing that's holding us back right now is our school performance. So I wonder if we could try and make some jewelry for people that would benefit- Oh my god, what are you doing? Screaming. I wonder if we could make some jewelry for people that would help them with school performance that they could bring with them. And that could be like our next step. 
Yeah, you can put the charging thing on a table. Isn't that kind of cool? I think I like how it looks when it's on a table because I think it looks like a furniture piece. I feel like if you're going to put it on the floor, you kind of have to like make it decorate around it and make it look more intentional. I guess you could, but it doesn't really matter. But um, I kind of like how it looks on a table. All right. Angelic, that's pretty good. Care to add the birthday candles back to this? And then you can get some food and shower. All right. Are there crystals in the cottage living shops? I don't think that cottage living sells crystals. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, how can you tell how long the charge is you couldn't see when you were playing yesterday? Oh, it says on there that it's gonna take five hours till it's fully charged, and then when it's out, you can hover over it and it'll say like 48 hours left and it will go down. Um, yeah, this is the new house. I can turn the lights on for you. We built this last time we played last week. Um, the game thinks it's a micro home. That's why the lighting's kind of weird on the flooring. Um, because the game thinks that it's a micro home. So the only room that's actually a room is here. You can kind of see by how the floor is, where, like, this is the same wood, but it looks darker. Um, this is the only actual tiles in the house. It's 30 tiles, and the rest are fake rooms. They still have a roof, but, um, you can see the ceiling's not there, too. But there is a roof, so it doesn't rain in there or anything. Um, but we get double skill gain and stuff. It doesn't show the charge timer for you? Oh, really? I wonder if it's like a bug in certain saves or something. Because I haven't had that problem. Um, but maybe it's only showing up in some people's saves, and that's why. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in this save once that thing is fully charged. We'll look at it and see how it goes. Oh, it's a bug from Better Build Buy, so it is a mod issue. It's a mod issue. So there you go. Um, it's because of a mod that you have that's causing it. Um, that makes sense. So, how do you make fake rooms? I'll show you. So normally, when you build a room, when we say room, like we're talking about the game's like literal room feature, where this is a room. Now it's 42 tiles up there, you see that? Um, we don't want that. We don't want rooms. So when you go to build a room, if you build the walls like this, it becomes a room automatically. But if you just do three walls, build a wall separate, and then move it in, the game does not see this as a room. It looks kind of like a room, but there's no automatic floor or ceiling. The game does not see it as a room. So what you could then do is take that and just put some flooring on it, and then put a roof on it. There's no tiles up there, so to do a roof, you'd have to like drag stuff over, kind of like this, to get it over there. Um, but now it's like an enclosed box with a ceiling, but the game does not count it as being extra tiles. So you can like cheat micro homes basically with the tiny living pack that way. Um, okay. Would you like to get some- oh, you already are getting leftovers. Okay, get some leftovers. Then I guess you can watch some TV, and then you can go to sleep. For some reason, you chose to sleep in the tent, which is really annoying, but okay. And then you can go to sleep. And then I guess you can go to sleep. You are going to sleep. Okay. Yeah, the the air works fine. As you can see, it's um it's hot in there and stuff, but they're they're okay. Also, I mean, there are some things people like ask about that a lot. I'm sort of of the opinion that some things are worth just like dealing with, I guess. <laughs> um even if it would cause a problem, like some things are worth just like letting be because because like the perks of having all of the double skill gain sort of counteracts the annoyance of like, the weather, I guess. And we're living in Del Sol Valley, which has relatively moderate weather, too, so it's not the worst place to be. Okay, I probably should finally get rid of this dead tree. I keep thinking it's funny, but we should probably get rid of it, because I'll put my new crystal tree right there in a minute. This is the Bailey Moon family's lot in Del Sol Valley. Oh my god, it keeps glitching her over there. When I go into build mode, she stops working on it for some reason. All right, I'll have to fix that one's fun in the morning, but that seems to be not too big of an issue. 
Yeah, you can also, if you want to, in settings, you can turn off temperature effects on Sims. So, like, it's fine. It's fine. I don't find it to be that big of a problem, though. Thought you hated Del Sol Valley? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We thought it might be fun to move somewhere different. And the view is kind of cool. It's mostly just like a lighting problem. Del Sol Valley has bad lighting, so it kind of irritates me when I build there. Which I did experience when I built this lot. Um, and also, uh, the default builds are bad, but I bulldozed it, so it's fine. It's more just a complaint about the construction of the world. Um, but it's not a huge problem. It's kind of fun to live somewhere funky and switch it up a little bit, you know? We're level five. <laughs> We're level five already. This is the power of a micro home. It's so good. Yeah, we built it on stream. It took us two streams to build it. The last two streams I worked on this, um, we kind of like played a little bit and then started it. And then um, next day we finished it and then played some more. <laughs> so it was like split across the middle of two streams. Um, so, anyway. Um, oh, hello? Oh my god, is it gone? Oh no, it's fine. Wow, I almost was like really mad just then. We're okay, water it. I guess you could probably evolve a couple of these and then harvest them. Okay, now get some food and go to bed. Oh god, not again. Oh god. Clay has passed away? Which one is Clay? Oh! They probably got got by story progression. Let me check that. We'll see what happened. We'll go through all of it. I guess I can let the game run. Yeah, Clay tried to make cereal, but it burst into flames. Uh-oh. Also, I think that I had another kid die overnight, or like yesterday, but I didn't keep track of who it was. Georgie Bayern, cheese ball, spatula, mushroom, Danny, Starbucks, toe, Taco Bell. Also, the name Starbucks, before you ask, uh, that was named a while ago, based on a chat suggestion. Oh, Beef is dead! Oh. Um, I would not name maybe Starbucks now, obviously. <laughs> Never mind, Beef we thought was still here, but Beef has been dead and I just didn't cross it off. Okay, who just got got by story progression? Clay? Let me grab neighborhood stories. Well, Beef's been dead, apparently. <laughs> and Clay... is also dead. Oops. There we go. Um, so, I wonder if... I guess Lima Bean is probably next, huh? We should probably go through and check. Chicky, Ryan, Lunar Bee, Meat Wall, Karen, Clay. Capybara fell from a height, jeez. Oh, Lima Bean is dead! Oh, maybe Lima Bean's the one that got got then. I guess that makes sense. Lima Bee must have been the one yesterday that we missed. Oh my god. Oops, sorry. Got it, stop. I pressed the wrong button. Lima Bean's got... Yeah, so the next one that will die will be Squid of old age because in between them, three got got by neighborhood stories and one died in my household when they were still here. The first almost 20 children are dead. <laughs> yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That's actually kind of funny. Um, people ask, like, you know, oh, are the kids starting to get older than your sim? The kids have been older than our sim. <laughs> the kids have been older. <laughs> Jess, thank you for the 78 months. Thank you so much. And Steph and Kaden, uh, Shania and Maza, thank you so much. We're playing on normal lifespan, um, but sims don't age when they're pregnant, so... We only just became an adult yesterday uh, because it took too long for, uh, what's her name, Lilith, to impregnate us. So. This is the first mom, yeah. It's, it's totally possible to do this completely with just one sim. 
Totally possible. Okay, I'm gonna go through and see which one makes you get school performance better. Charisma, Moodlet, Simoleons, Embarrass Moodlet, Energy Faster While Sleeping. Maybe I should do the Amethyst one then. Oh, putting that in the infant room? That'll be good. Okay, we'll do Amethyst first then. And we'll put that inside of the, um, the infant room. Are you fully rested? Oh my, okay. Use the bathroom, take a shower, grab a serving. You're only a C student. Maybe you work on one of these. The Amethyst makes them gain their energy need faster while sleeping. Um, so we're gonna... We're gonna make that for us. Um, you know, Beetle, I've actually really had fun with this stuff pack. And yes, the needs filling one, that's the one that I want, but we haven't gotten that crystal yet. We need to like hunt it down, but we haven't been able to find it yet. Um, put the crystal just outside, the charging mat just outside the room. Yeah, it, the crystal charging mat, you, um, you get the effects not by room, but by like general vicinity. So if I put this charging mat like right here, it would be right next to this and it would keep charging and they'd still get the effects, but it has to be outside still, obviously. Um, yeah, the plum bite seems to be relatively hard to find, but in both the saves that I did when I was play testing, it was one of the first crystals that I got. So we got really lucky in those saves, I guess. Um, but it makes sense that it should be hard to find because it's like it's too good almost. <laughs> the plum bite. Because when you charge it, you you literally never have to do any skills again. <laughs> I don't think the charging mat will work inside a fake room because there's still a ceiling. Like there's still a roof up there, so the moonlight can't like if the rain can't get through, I doubt the moonlight can get through, you know? Um, because there is still a ceiling. You still haven't found it in yours after three sim weeks? Oh my gosh. Wow, I must have gotten really lucky then. <laughs> I must have gotten so lucky. Yeah, you could have like multiple charging mats and like spread out if you've got multiple of the crystals. Yeah, that's so good. Maybe with glass roof? I don't know if the game is smart enough to understand it through a glass roof. Cause the, the glass roof is still a roof. It just looks empty. Like, it just looks clear. Um, so I don't- I don't think that the game is smart enough to grant you effects through that. Does that make sense? Um, I don't know if it knows how to do that. Okay, I'm gonna say that you're not upset. I keep- I feel bad for this, but like, I truly believe that you would not care about these people that have died because you didn't know them. Like, how are you gonna sit here and pretend that you cared? You didn't. You just didn't. Okay, you slide a few times. Is my crystal done? Yes. All right, what do I want next? Actually, do a different cut. Do you like that one? So we were looking at Amethyst. This one, Sim cannot die. School or work performance faster and homework faster. That's what we need. We got to get a couple of those. but it lets sunlight through. Yeah, but but visually, right, Mary? Like, functionally in-game, your vampire isn't gonna die because they're standing next to a window or standing underneath a glass roof. Um, the, the game doesn't understand that sunlight is getting through that glass roof to kill your vampire, right? So I don't think that moonlight would get through a glass roof to charge the crystal. The, the game only sees it, it is a roof or there is no roof. The- the texture is just like paint. It's- it's purely visual. Does that make sense? Um... Anyway, you don't even need a glass roof to put roofs- like, to put plants inside. You just put it underneath the roof and it works. It doesn't matter. Um... So, I know that's kind of confusing, but that is how it works. Okay. Oh, my rat is hungry. I guess I'll worry about that. You can come do that first before we forget, because... Oh no. Oh no. 
I think my rat is dead. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Well, new problem. <laughs> new problem. Oh, did I close out of my. Hold on, let me get my baby spreadsheet back up. We have to get a new rat. I seem to have killed one by accident. Well, goodbye, Ego Waffle. You have died. The new rat is going to be named. Number 1091. 1000. What are the. That's the first time we've spun the same thing twice. We already had a rat named that. That green means rat. Green is rat, yellow is baby. Okay, I guess we spin again. That's the first time that's happened. We haven't we haven't had a double spin yet. And the fact that it's both a rat. <laughs> All right, we spin again. 800. Only took us what like 60. Oh, you can't see it cuz it's on a white screen. 65 babies. What was that number? 800. Yeah. Okay. Number 800. Tulip. Oh, that's cute. I quite like that. All right. New rat. Okay. I go waffle passed away. Yeah. Yeah. The X next to toothpaste is because I deleted them. It had to be done. The game was glitching with the rat, so I had to delete it and try again. So, that was why. <laughs> Alright, how pregnant are we? Third trimester. Oh my god, we already have to find a new person to have kids with. Alright. Who do we have options? Brandy Pleasant? Oh. Do you want to have kids with a pleasant family member? That could be good. Well, I'll call them up in a minute. Can you even pay your bills, Simsy? Yeah, we'll just paint. It's not it's not a big deal, friend. Watch this. Hold on. You th you say you are worried about bills. Look. Uh-oh, game's lagging. I'm getting my mail. Um, so, are you worried about bills any longer? Because I'm not. <laughs> uh, it's fine. <laughs> we That's what I like to call child support. But that's, that's uh, birthday gifts from the other family members. So, we're okay. <laughs> This is why I had to cheat money away, because we had too much. I was I didn't like having that much money. We got money so fast, it was too stressful. I didn't like it. I, I prefer to have to worry about money a little bit more and like actually have to work on stuff. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the gift feature is that from a pack getting birthday gifts in the mail from someone. I feel like that's been happening for so long. I don't know. Is it oh maybe it's parenthood. Yeah, maybe it is parenthood. Um Yeah, that's a that's a nice one though. All right, talk to this bear. How are you doing skill wise? Yeah, you're good. You don't have it but you have parenthood. Well, you don't normally get that many gifts. Normally you get like it, it you have to have like relatives. So like say you have like a dead grandma, you might get a gift in the mail from the ghost on like your sim's birthday when the child ages up. Um, so you don't normally get like 13,000 simoleons worth. You might just get like one. Um, Cause most people don't have 65 siblings that send them to you. Um, <laughs> um, but you, you probably do get like a toy or something in the mail from things like that. It just doesn't happen as uh, much. You've never gotten a gift before, you have parenthood, you play legacy style. Do you really? You never get the pop-up that's like, oh, congrats on your birthday, I'm sending you a gift. I wonder why that is. Yeah, the teenagers get gifts, that's why you get given, like, the seed packets and stuff. In the mail. Um, let's have you come wake up. 
Grab a serving. We'll have to get some more food off this in a minute. And let me call up. We'll start a club gathering with Brandy. Oh, you know what else we have is, um, we could buy some like, oh, I already have a romance bonus from the club, but we could buy like, oh, I already have flirty bonus from the club. Oh, okay. You know what we could do though? What if I bought myself like some additional skill boosts? Cause I have like so many points. It probably wouldn't hurt if we bought some more of those. Maybe I'll buy some like creative skill boosts too so I can do my paintings better and I don't know. We have so much stuff. We could buy like all the boosts. We could make this club kind of scary. Oh, it's not growing together. Oh God, no. <laughs> it's not from growing together. Um, we don't even do homework, but I guess I could buy that. I'm not putting the kids in this club though. Um, the, the, the gifts have been happening way longer than growing together has been out. It's, it's from parenthood, I'm certain. Um, I don't know why you all aren't seeing it. Um, but I think maybe you just haven't had like luck with it. Maybe you haven't noticed, I don't know. Um, it's been around for ages. Sims Wiki says seasons, but Reddit says parenthood. I think that the gifts from seasons are the gift boxes. The gifts in the mail are different. Um, okay. Yeah, it has to be from family who is not living in your house is how you get the gifts. So maybe you just haven't had a lot of luck with that. Um, you have to like have actual relatives that don't live with you. A student, B student, B student, B student. Okay, I'm gonna kick this kid out. I don't need your help anymore. Blow out candles. Um, okay, we'll get the other kids to take care of their things too. You need to work on your fun. Channel surf. I guess we could probably all work on our fun need. All right, happy birthday. Valedictorian, whoa. That's pretty good. Okay. You hug the bear a couple more times and then play inside this tent. I may have to age you up in a minute too. So we'll be ready. There you go. Okay, let me kick this one out. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> oh God, Dark, thank you for the sub gift. And Sif and Salt and Cass, thank you so much. Do I use any cheats for the needs? Um, I've definitely done needs cheats before, but rarely. Rarely. Um, only, only on uh, special occasions. You know, like, like at one point I think I said, I have COVID, so I'm not gonna bathe my toddler. You know, but that was not, it's not like I do it every time. <laughs> Yes, the new stuff pack, the crystal stuff would be so good for Not So Berry. Cause the, oh, everyone in your house is dead. The mint gen of Not So Berry, they have, um, they'll, they'll have like the scientist career. So they'll be able to do a lot of skill building. So. Special occasions when she's particularly stressed. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not often. And like earlier today, I cheated the toddler's energy by like, this much because it was about to pass out and I didn't want it to because I wanted to age it up and I didn't want to wait for it to sleep before I could age it up. So I was like, you can have this much energy, just like enough to not fall asleep on the floor. Just a little bit so I could age you up, you know? <laughs> yeah, we use the catering stuff for food. I'll show you. There's a like a buffet table from a couple of packs. This is the one from luxury party stuff. So what I'll do is I'll just serve food on there and then I put it inside of this fridge. It's like a display fridge from get to work. Um, and your Sims can grab food out of it, but it's a fridge. So it doesn't spoil in there for a few days. Um, and like your toddlers can grab food straight out of it without having to like have it gotten out for them by you. So it's kind of helpful. Oh, I meant to start the gathering, sorry. There you are. Um, hello, Brandy Pleasant. I'm gonna see if we can uh, romance each other so that way we can get aged up. All right, you're pretty much good. Work on that one. 
work on that one. Is that one yours? Yeah, good, okay. Let's buy a few more of these. Um, all right, Kayla, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming by the stream. Um, it was so nice to meet you in real life. Did I say get together? I meant to say get to work. The If I said the wrong thing, I knew what I was trying to say. The display for just from get to work. All the gets, they, they blur together. Uh, but this one's get to work. It's like, cause you can use it to make bakeries and stuff and get to work. Um, but yeah, it's from get to work. All right. So it's honestly so bold to come to someone's house and then start playing on their computer without permission. Like, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Get to growing together to work. I know it's it's so much, too much. I'm not hanging out with you. Leave me alone. Mental level 10. Oh my God. Okay, kiss hands again. Sexy pose, I don't know. You put locks on your computers. Yeah, it doesn't actually bother me that much. It's just kind of weird that it's such a like common autonomous interaction from your Sims. Um, all right, we're working on those. Um, okay, wow, the romance bar is full. <laughs> oh no. All right, first kiss, then we'll take a selfie and then we'll be good to go. Take a photo with Brandy Pleasant. There we go. Okay. Let me go just stick that photo outside quick so I don't forget about it. Oh, you know what else I have? I gotta put that from the new baby. <laughs> just ignore that, okay? <laughs> I know it seems weird. Just ignore it. <laughs> um, okay, maybe you could also come and repair this. Can you upgrade this at all? No. Can you upgrade this? No. That's fine. Um, yeah, we're way past all the starting townies. The original townies are all like super dead. Um, so we're, uh, what did I say her name is? Pleasant, something pleasant. I forgot. She's still there. Brandy, okay. Brandy Pleasant. We were going to place off the gallery a couple townies that folks from chat had made. Maybe I should go do that now before I forget. But we were gonna do that uh, today with like, um, with uh, some ones that you all had made. Your work computer is broken? Uh-oh. <laughs> that's not good. But you get an extra break, that's good. Unfortunately, you can't work, oh no. Okay, so we are gonna look, uh, the hashtag I use for this is look Lil Simsy. Um, and I know that people made some households so we can scroll through and grab some. Probably households, s love interest six? Oh, there you go. Let's place those. Fresh meat, if you will. <laughs> oh God. Uh oh. I'll leave them across the street. How about that? Let me save again. Let me save. Yikes, <laughs> yikes. We made one, oh my God, that scared me so bad. My little cat fell off my monitor, yikes. Um, okay, it can stay on the counter. Um, Prescott, I'm gonna evict you people. I'm gonna get some more people off the gallery. Well, I placed them. Let me comment on all the ones that we're gonna place just so that people know. Oh, they look cute. See, this is the problem, right? Like. I don't really want to play sims that seem like such lovely households, you know? It's like, this, these are your beautiful sims. What am I gonna do? Place a family and then destroy the parents? Like, that seems horrible. <laughs> Dream home decorator townies. Oh, that's cool. 
I like that. You want me to destroy a family, Christine? What is wrong with you? We'll play some of these too. I guess, I mean, I am downloading Sims to kill right now, aren't I? So when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but... At least they won't leave children behind, you know? That's unfurnished. Sorry. Okay, that's a few in there. We'll get some in Willow Creek too. Do I need to set them all individually to be able to be, able to be baby donors? Oh, like, um, because a lot of them are, are uh, women? No, I have, um, I have a mod with MC Command Center. I have it set so that anybody can get anybody pregnant, pretty much. So. All right. Let's just keep scrolling a little bit more, see what we can find. Hopefully I didn't just place the same thing twice. Ooh, occult townies. Oh, that's good. We need some more of that. Um, look how many dogs those people have. I know you can barely see because my face cam's in the way. They have like five. Whoa. Oh, you can live here. Well, so here's the problem with the occult baby thing. Like, technically, yes, occult babies should count as two. Because that's, like, part of the rules. Um, just some guys. <laughs> um, but I went on and on about how dumb I thought that that was and how that's not fair. Because, it like, you should have to have all 100 babies. But now, at this point in my life, I'm really regretting saying that. So, that's kind of where we're at. Baby fathers. <laughs> Yeah, I set myself up for failure with that one. <laughs> Should have stopped talking. <laughs> Should have been quiet. Um, but yeah, I, I technically some people follow that rule. Funky young adult townies. Oh, these sims seem cool. Oh, they made it in anticipation of crystal creations. That's fun. Why would they count as two? Um, because it's like a rare chance of you actually ending up having an occult baby, because it's like 50-50, um, and I guess they are a little bit harder, kinda, at least as teens, but not really. Horse ranch townies. Yeehaw. Okay. I'll put them in Chestnut Ridge. Um, okay, we probably shouldn't put too many more after this, because we won't get to all of these, and then they'll start dying. So let's maybe leave it there and we can put some more like next time we play. We can just go through and put more like every time, I think. Because we don't want to put a bunch and have them all die, you know? We have to think logically about this. <laughs> yeah, I've said a lot of things that have made my life harder in this challenge. You'd think that I would learn to shut my mouth. And yet, I just keep talking. I just keep talking and saying things that I shouldn't be. <laughs> So, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> um, okay. When your matriarch is already in a cult, you can count all occult babies as two. That would be so funny if you did that. That would make things a lot easier. It could be like a 50 baby challenge. Um, no, I never said that, Hope. No, don't go around telling people that. That's not one of the rules. <laughs> That's not a thing. <laughs> Stop spreading lies. <laughs> Quit it. Okay. Keep up with the emerald cut gemstone. And then... I guess you should probably water all these things too. Oh, we could fertilize this. I have a minnow. Let me do that first. We need to get some like high quality fish so I could use it on this. Forgot to update the baby count. Oh no, that's right. We haven't had the 66th baby yet. We're pregnant with it. It hasn't been born. We're in our third trimester though. So any minute should be that one. We'll have the next baby. If I try and weed this, it's not going to work, is it? Because it's all broken, the weeding. Oh, 
Never mind, it worked. Never mind. You can go to sleep if you want. Um, yeah, okay, you're gonna get your grade up today, for sure. I don't know about this one, but we can see. Oh wait, I was gonna have her work on this. No, come repair that. Sorry. Um, need the crystal that reduces morning time? Yeah, we need to start working on some more of these crystals. I have this, um, this brilliant cut gemstone needs to be charged still. It's slow charging because of a new moon. That's annoying. Um, but that's okay. We'll get there. You probably could get yourself some food. Whoa, this one is tired. Yikes. See, I gotta put the sleep thing in there for you. Oh, you can be aged up! Oh my god. I didn't notice. Okay. Hire a butler to make it easier? No, I don't think we need a butler. I I'd like to do it myself. It really isn't actually that bad. To be completely honest, this is the kind of time where I would like sneak a little bit of energy so they don't pass out. That's the kind of needs cheat I'm talking about. But I don't think that's bad. You know? Okay. We'll get this one aged up. And then, where have you got crystals? We actually don't have that many crystals yet. <laughs> to be completely honest. It's hard to, to multitask with skills and stuff in this challenge. Um, but we're, we're getting there. It's hard for us to get our hands on crystals, I guess, is the best way of describing it. Um, okay, put that away. You are absolutely miserable. But we can have that be fixed too. That'll be fine. I'm sorry. Look, look at her. Sorry. Can't you buy them in the Spellcaster world? Yeah, you can buy some crystals in the Spellcaster world. We do not have a Spellcaster right now. Um. So... You're in bed. I guess you can go to bed too. What? A stream? Hello? Oh yeah, hi. We, um, I normally don't stream on, in the morning on Tuesdays, but I'm going to a concert later, so I'm here now. <laughs> We're here a little bit early right now. Okay. So, can you make a spellcaster crystal girly? Yeah, we should play with that kind of thing on stream soon. We're a little distracted at the moment. We're also gonna give birth any second, so we gotta be ready. But, I'm going to the Olivia Rodrigo concert tonight. So I will not be able to stream this afternoon. I've got big plans. Um, so, oh, am I in labor? Oh, I was looking at chat, I didn't even see. Okay, here we go. Let me just buy a bassinet and birth it in the house. Um, what is it? bassinet? I was like, what is it called? Bassinet. I just said it out loud too. Um, go put it like over there. Okay. Oh, frozen. Yikes. Have baby. Okay. We start there. And then I can try for baby with this sim, which is good because she's already here. Oh, don't randomize. What am I doing? Randomize from this. <laughs> okay. So, number 1247 is the baby that we will be naming this one. 1247 Levi. That's a nice name. Okay. Levi and Lilith. <laughs> Tori, Mutt, Jada, and Yarn, and Inez, and Imogen, and Sar, and Miss Warrior. Thank you for the subs. I appreciate that. All right. Levi is nice. We were talking about naming our legacy challenge, our not so very sim Levi, because we have like a a jeans theme going on. <laughs> I don't really like Levi as a name for that because it's not chaotic enough. But we have denim and jort in that right now. Um, so there's been some talk of like uh, that's twelve forty nine, not twelve forty seven. Um, so let me show you again. People always ask this. That number is twelve forty nine. You see the big number? The big number is twelve forty seven. <laughs> Um, so we go off the big number on purpose. Um, that is the one that I do. 
Should have been Jean and Jorts. I think Denim is fun though. I think Denim is like a cool name. So, try for baby with Brandy, please. Yeah, the typed number, not the row number, is what we go off of. The typed number is bigger, so it's easier for more people in chat to see. Um, so that's part of it. Um, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Well, are you gonna go work on a school project? You really don't have to do that. You're awake at one in the morning though, which is a huge yikes. Um, how is George? Oh, not George. Jort. J-O-R-T. Like jean shorts. Jort. Uh-oh. Olive Tinker has passed away. That's like a distant relative of theirs. Maybe it's like their aunt. I'm not sure. We are pregnant. Oh, that was easy. Okay, bye, Brandy. Um... I'll swarm you with flies. How about that? <laughs> That's terrible. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Let me see who all we can add to our club because there should be some new people um, that maybe were made by some folks from chat that we could add in. Of course, I don't know if they're here, but... We'll go looking around. We'll go to their house or something. <laughs> yeah, that one is gross. It really is. Okay, let me get this out here. Her name was Brandy Pleasant and she was the mother of baby number 67. And we just gave birth to number 66. I know that's confusing, but we just gave birth to Lilith's and then we immediately get pregnant with the next one, so. All right, well, that was easy. Let's age this kid up then. I'll do a super efficient newborn care and then age it up. That was probably the easiest it's been in a while to get pregnant. <laughs> we look on hashtag look Lil Simsy Kels um, for households if you wanted to make some for us. Um, we just placed a few. The mom's only an adult, freshly an adult. We aged up today, we were quite sad about it. Um, but we are, we are only an adult. I do not believe this infant is a vampire. So that's sad. All right, here we go. Put Levi down on the play mat. And it already got the smile milestone. That's pretty good. Go. Oh my God. Stop triple speeding, it breaks things. Uh oh. Okay, I'll place that baby down. I'll have my Sim just go to sleep so she can, uh, woohoo with, oh, is that a ghost? Wow, okay. <laughs> There's a ghost here that we can woohoo with. That's kind of weird. Um, all right, we'll get to work on this. <laughs> just three times free break things, you always use it. Yeah, I always use it too. It, it kind of breaks things because it, um, Oh, I have my, it's still not fully charged. It kind of breaks things because it causes some like weird simulation lag where like sometimes if you try and triple speed after queuing some interactions, they're, they'll just pause and like stand there. Um, so you often will have better luck if you don't triple speed um, when you're like trying to play because they're not very smart, um, especially with infants because they already glitch on their own. So triple speed with infants kind of like causes some issues, but I have to keep reminding myself that. Um, so. <laughs> I also struggle with with that fact, I guess. Um, a ghost was in the crystal that's charging, really? Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. And yeah, I uh, you can't really help but, oh no. The ground is gonna start getting gross. Um, I can't really help but triple speed. It's like such a, a habit of mine. So, I get it. But... It, it does help with infants in particular to not triple speed with them. I just have to like really stop myself because I want to. Um, I always want to. Oh my God, you're vegetarian. Stop. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh no, that's my bad. I'm sorry. Can you eat any of these? Yeah, there's some things for you. 
All right, well, I'm introducing myself to this sim because my social needs quite low. Um, what crystal effect shocked you the most? Oh, probably the the um, one that gives you all your needs increasing. <laughs> that was a real shock to me. I guess in like a fun way. Um, it's kind of hard to get, but once you have it, it's so useful. We're gonna try and uh, work on that today, I think. Grab milestone. Good job, kid. Um, go to sleep. Is that all you needed? Yeah, you have them both. Okay. Um, I think today what I want to do is try and max the, um, or we'll start working on maxing the handsiness skill at least, and then we can try and get into the crystal place. Um, I think that's our next goal. Okay, so let's order some upgrade materials. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. Uh, upgrade parts? We have a lot of money, so I can get like a bunch. I might get like 25 of these. I'll get a couple electronic ones. I'll get a bunch of plumbing ones, because I'm probably going to do mostly plumbing upgrades right now. And we'll start upgrading some of this. You want to upgrade that one to be like self-cleaning first? I don't know. What is the crystal place? There's a secret lot that comes in, uh, it's in Oasis Springs in the park. And if you have level 10 handiness, you can get in there. Um, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> so we're trying to get in there. Fire toilet. I guess we could make a fire toilet. That would be very inconvenient though. How are we doing with this? We're level four only. Ooh. Yeah, I'm seeing some people saying that Facebook and Instagram are down. I've, uh, it's been a lot of folks in chat saying it. Obviously, I've not been on Instagram because I'm... Oh yeah, mine's down. Can't load posts. Um, yeah, I've, I've not been on Instagram because I'm streaming, so... <laughs> um, okay. Didn't find many spawns in the secret place. Yeah, you have to be in there for a while for them to start spawning. It's kind of annoying. Um, it's confusing, I think, for people with that. Um, okay, I might try and upgrade these, too. Um, upgrade pulsating massage jets to clean sims faster. How about that? We gain a skill quite quickly. We'll get there. Can't log in a messenger? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How long is a while? Um, like hours in game. Uh, if I were you to wait for things to spawn, I would go there and like fish or something Bobby. and wait for some stuff to spawn and then, um, and then mess with it. Uh oh, mail's delivered. Oh, work hard. Sorry, I meant to study hard. Oh no, that's a fail. I don't think you need to be sad anymore either. Okay, kids awake. I'll feed you in a minute. I just want to finish upgrading this. I'm really sorry. That's bad, but it is what it is. Okay. And then we'll do some tummy time, I think. Would you quit calling me? <laughs> These are my children. <laughs> I'm like, would you quit calling me? I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> it's our kids. <laughs> sorry. We're almost level six handiness, so we should be able to get the skill maxed quite easily. It's kind of fun with the baby challenge because you can like really focus on maxing everything, which is exciting stuff. Um, became good friends with Levi, not bad. Not bad. Thought they were in a pool. Oh, because of the carpet. It's kind of fun, isn't it? The carpet. I don't really use it very often. Picky eater. Oh no. That's real annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Put the kid down. Put the kid down. Okay. Tell me time again. Nice. You're realizing right now how much you absentmindedly go to the Facebook app to refresh your timeline? Really? Yeah, it's rough. Um, 
the like instant doom scroll like you just like mindlessly open social media you know i've been trying to get away from that i've been really um bringing my kindle around with me and like really trying to adjust my doom scroll to like not be random social media apps and be my kindle instead because it's like a more effective use of my time but i'm really trying to like shift the mindset and it's hard because you just so mindlessly you just open like i used to be so mindlessly on reddit so often um and i because i just I, it's fun to read reddit posts <laughs> uh, but i've really been trying to like move away so a timer on your instagram app that's a good idea the screen time limits are helpful you use them for yourself to try and like reframe it you know um yeah, I love my Kindle. It's It feels like a more effective kind of screen time <laughs> when you're reading a book. You can get like, re you can read on your phone too, but my problem with that is that then I like, you see notifications and stuff. So if I go on my Kindle, it's like, put the phone down, stay on the Kindle, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm mindlessly on Reddit a lot, or at least I used to be. I deleted the app. Truthfully, the reason I deleted the app <laughs> is because I saw a hate post that I did not need to see about three weeks ago. And I said, you know what? If it's going to somehow manage to recommend this stuff to me, despite my great lengths to not be on anything Sims related, I still had to see that. I don't need to be on there. <laughs> I'm out. So I deleted the app. And honestly, I've been doing other things instead and it's better. So, anyway, <laughs> it happens, but I got one of those too. <laughs> they, they make like little uh, clickers so you can turn pages on your Kindle without having to be out of the covers and stuff. Um, and, and they have like stands for them. I also just got a stand and a clicker for my Kindle. So you can like curl up in your blanket like a little, little bubble cocoon and then have your Kindle out and press the clicker. I just got one too. It, I actually really like it. <laughs> I really like it. Um, it's a, it was a solid purchase. Um, all right. What's wrong with you, kid? How long until you're ready to age up? Oh, we have no milestones from the tummy time. Okay. I'll queue up a bunch of those. All right. How about you? A student. Okay. I, I guess I'll let you all eat first. You can finish eating before I distract you. How about you channel surf? You can take a shower. You should use the bathroom. Okay. Um, your bed is close to the ceiling. So you have it on the ceiling and totally hands-free. Oh my God. I, I clip my mount to like the drawer of my nightstand. I pull the drawer out and then clip the mount onto the side of it. Um, Cause it like can fit on there. And then it is like closer to where it needs to be so I can see it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of useful. Oh, walking on a treadmill with a Kindle and a clicker. Oh, I bet that's really good. That would, that would make me feel so productive. I don't, we don't, I don't go to the gym and I don't have like a treadmill or anything, but that's pretty cool. Um, that's a good idea. I think you might be onto something with that one. <laughs> a, a Kindle's an e-reader. Um, it's, it's a little e-reader. You might've heard of like a Nook um, that's a different brand of one, maybe like a Kobo or something. It's just an e-reader. Kindle is Amazon's brand one, but, um, anyway, I quite like mine. <laughs> oh, did you really hope? Yeah, I was, we were talking to Hope about that. Oh, vegetarian and mean. Um, I, when I was at Hope's house, we were talking about, um, like what settings we keep ours on. And I like mine to say how much time is left in the chapter because um, I find it useful to know, especially when you're reading at night before bed, like I usually do. It's nice to know how many minutes it thinks the chapter is gonna take you. Cause then you can decide like, should I read another one or is 20 minute chapter too much? <laughs> you know, if it's like seven minutes, then it's fine. But <laughs> um, I like it. It's like a challenge though. Yeah, I found that it, um, it, typically is pretty good at guessing based on your reading speed. I found that it's usually pretty close to accurate, so. Um, it's like feeding the Google Maps countdown. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, okay, let's start working carefully. Um, should look into treadmill desks. Oh, do you mean like, they have like those walking pads that people put underneath their desks. Um, 
but I'm not, I don't have a, a raised desk or the ability to have a raised desk. I know some people do, um, but I don't really want to. I, I have a very long desk that's like an Ikea countertop placed on top of a couple Alex drawers. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to invest in a raised one or one that can, a standing desk that can raise, I should say. They have those desks that you can raise up, but. Anyway, I've heard good things about those walking pads. Um, use it on its own. Yeah, you can use it on its own as well. You can just use it when you're like downstairs watching TV or something, I guess, if you wanted to. <laughs> and they fold up against the wall and stuff, those little walking pads. I've seen people on TikTok talk about them. Um, but I don't know. I wouldn't really want it to be at my desk, I don't think. I'm not the best at multitasking while working. Like, I don't know how people... I guess if you get used to it, it might be easier for them. But I don't know if I could, like, do that while... I guess it depends what you're, what work you're doing, too. But <laughs> you can't be wa using a walking pad and recording a video. But I mean, like, emails and stuff even. I don't know if I could manage it, but... I can barely walk and talk outside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Can we even manage that? Um... But anyway, I'm sure some people are better at it. I'm, I've never been a, a good multitasker. I think I just gave them a difficult relationship by accident. Oops. <laughs> Marie, Pinklefish, Oliver, Tania, and Human Heart, thank you for the subs. Um, whoopsies. <laughs> whoopsies. Rosie, once you age them up and move them out, we just put them in other households. I've got most of the kids living in like groups of eight together outside of the house. Um, so that's kind of how it works. You age them up and move them out like that. Um, the up and down motion of your walking made it kind of hard for you to read. Yeah, I get that. I, um, oftentimes I'll be like getting ready for bed and I'll have already started reading. So I'll be like brushing my teeth while trying to read or like walking to my closet to get my like pajamas out while trying to read or like, and I, I find I get myself very frustrated because I have to keep rereading sentences because I'm like distracted walking. And I don't think I like, I don't like the multitask reading. It's not for me, I can't do it. It depends on the book, I guess also. Um, Cause some things like you can't be distracted because it's like too much. But yeah, I find myself getting really annoyed at myself because I'm like, God, I have to do that, read that again because I'm <laughs> distracted and can't focus on it. Um, okay, so, um, how much longer until you're fine? Oh, I got those, okay, good, well, you need to be fed, so I'll do that next. I'll bottle feed you quick, and then I'll feed my human sim. Um, oh, that's smart, Hope. Yeah, it's hard because the 15 hours that Spotify gives you for audiobooks a month isn't enough for a lot of books. Um, but it's, it's nice to have, like, little bits here and there once you're starting. But anyway. Um... You bought enough we use it to watch anime. Nice! <laughs> oh, first blowout milestone. That's good. We can give it a bath in a minute and then we'll be good to go after we eat. Yeah, and you can get audiobooks for free from the library, but um, if you already have Spotify, it's nice to have, um, it's nice to also have a free audiobook if you're already paying for Spotify, so. Um. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I've been trying to listen to audiobooks a little bit, um, recently, and I found that I don't know, I, I think that I really struggle with multitasking while listening to things. Um, I, maybe it's easier for me with podcasts because I, like, care less about the content and that's part of it, but I was trying to listen to an audiobook while I was working on, like, um, like, just the early, early access stuff for one of the Sims packs, so I was, like, scheduling videos and making thumbnails and stuff, and I've never been a good multitasker. Like, if people, Dan always gets mad at me, not actually mad, but, like, jokingly mad at me because he'll talk to me while I'm, like, watching something, and it literally is, like, in one ear, out the other. Like, I don't even hear that he's speaking to me. I'm so bad about, like, the multitasking thing, um, with listening. I have to, like, dedicate attention to things that I'm listening to, and I guess if I care, don't care about it, it's fine, but if I'm, like, interested in it, 
if I'm like invested in my show, will not, it won't work for me. <laughs> but Dan is not the same way. He's able to like, I can talk to him and he can watch at the same time and he's fine. But I can't like do that. <laughs> My mom's the same way too. If she's listening to something, she will not. And I used to get so mad at her for that too. And I'm the same way. <laughs> but I used to get so mad at her that I was like, mom, I'm talking to you and you don't even like, you can't even hear me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I get it, I guess. Are you ready to age up now? No, you need another social milestone. Okay, I can put you to bed then in the meantime. We'll start there. Um, Okay, this one is fully charged in two hours. That's the one that makes your sleep better. But I'll put it in there for the infant and see how it works. Fall asleep. Try to go night-night. Try to go night-night. Try to go night-night. Leave me alone. Okay. Listen while you're driving? Yeah, that makes sense. That's a good call. Um, I don't drive that much these days. Or ever. <laughs> I don't know why I said these days. <laughs> Kayla, you don't leave the house. Everybody knows that. Um... Okay, grab a serving after that too. How are you all doing? Working on these still? Okay. Whew. You got your wisdom tooth removed yesterday. Oh my, how are you feeling? I, I hated that. I hated that. For me, the second day was worse than the first day by, by a long shot because the first day you still were like all numb. Second day I was in way, much, way more pain. So hopefully you're feeling all right today. Um, how is Dan doing this permit? Oh my god, I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this. Me and the state of Florida, we are not on good terms right now. Listen to this. So Dan got his permit a full two months ago. They gave him a paper license and said, give the government up to 60 days to process the card and check your immigration status and they'll mail it to you because we can't print it out here because you're an immigrant. The government, the state has to like look at it and then send it to you. Um, his paper license expired over the weekend. The full 60 days has passed. He still has not been issued the physical license by the government because they have not finished checking his immigration status. So we have to go back to the DMV and get a new paper license because we still do not have the card because they still have not finished checking on his immigration status. So, um, yikes. <laughs> really annoying, extremely annoying. The license is like issued, like he has a full license number and stuff. When you look online, it says that it like has an eight year validity period. He doesn't have the card. So he has to go get another paper one as like a replacement. So we have to go back to the DMV this week probably. But, huge yikes. I was hoping that it would come before then, but no, still not. Um, and it's just his permit. Like, he just wants to practice driving because he's an immigrant. He's, like, from the UK. It's weird driving in a new country, so he wants to, like, practice on a permit, you know? Um, and it's just, ah, uh, <laughs> so annoying. The, the state of Florida is horrible for so many reasons, but, like, the level of difficulty that they that they make for immigrants with stuff like this, this isn't just Dan, like, all immigrants, um, it's it's just so frustrating that it has to be this complicated. They literally had his, like, they scanned his green card. So I don't understand what about that takes over two months to be like, oh, valid green card. You know, and I think that it maybe is partially complicated by the fact that technically his green card expires in April. Get this, okay? His green card is going to expire in April. We filed already um, to, like, remove the conditions on his green card. So we sent that in already, but they take so long to process the like condition removal that he's probably going to become a citizen before he gets his new green card issued. So what he has now, or what he will have post April is an expired green card and a letter from the government saying, don't worry, we've extended this green card by four years. <laughs> but you have to have like the letter and the card that says it's expired, but it's not because they won't issue a new card with a new expiration date because they have to process your application and they take so long to process the application that it doesn't, oh my God, it's just so stupid. The whole thing is so ridiculous and they make it so difficult for people. So now he's gonna have, but I, I think that maybe the green card expiry is what's complicating the license or maybe they just suck, I don't know. But it's not expired. It will, it will say it is, but it won't be because they extended it. But 
the card will have an expired date on it, even though it technically, like, his status is extended. Does that make sense? Um, but, anyway. Huge yikes. Very frustrating. Um, and we'll have to deal with this for the next few years, but... <sighs> you applied for the removal over a year ago, and you just applied for citizenship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? You're in it. Um... You're in it, and I'm sorry about that. I know it's frustrating. Um, <laughs> that'll be us too. Are you the vegetarian? Yeah, okay. There's no vegetarian food for you. Let me see if I can serve you up something that you can have. Is there like cookies or... Oh, vegetable tempura is probably better than cookies. <laughs> I'm sorry I was thinking about cookies. That's probably bad. Oh, there's some right there. Oh, never mind. Now we have more. Okay, but yeah, once once he's been married for three years, he can apply for citizenship. Um, and then obviously the application will take a bit, but um, we'll be able to apply for citizenship before he gets this extended green card, so. And this is the easy, the easy way. Like, uh, being married to a U.S. citizen is easy compared to any other immigration path. It's, immigration is so difficult. Um, it's, it's really uh, upsetting, but... Yeah, what he has to do is easy <laughs> compared to everybody else. And quick, even, as well. Um, like, the path to citizenship is very short compared to most people, most immigrants. Um, so. Um, Alright, you're grabbing that. Everybody can come eat something, I guess. Quickly. Um, yeah, it's really difficult, Indigo. I'm sorry that they've had to deal with all that. Um, okay. So... Everybody's eating. This is cute. Baby's asleep. The baby's gonna need to eat in a minute, too. Maybe I'll sleep while I wait for the baby to wake up. Honestly, it's probably best to be sleeping while the kid is sleeping, you know? <laughs> you sleep while the baby's asleep. Yeah, he can be a dual citizen. Once he gets his citizenship, he can be a dual citizen. Um, it's different depending on what country you're from. Uh, some countries don't allow you to hold two citizenships. You'd have to, like, give up your other one to have this one, but the U.S. and the U.K. allow dual citizenship, so he's able to hold both. He could be both. Um, he isn't one yet, um, but, you know, eventually, when he's able to apply and do that, he'll be able to hold both citizenships. So we can have, like, a U.S. and a U.K. passport and stuff. Um, but... Um, anyway. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Um, okay, would you like to take a shower and then you can go to bed too, perhaps? Get everyone fully taken care of. Oh, really, Soda Pop? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I think that we'll, we'll definitely, um, we should do something to celebrate when Dan gets his citizenship. I think that'd be kind of cute. Um, okay, everyone's all good, all asleep. Um... Did they remove the Amazon Prime subscription? No, it's still there. Um, maybe, did yours like perhaps expire today? And maybe it hasn't given you the opportunity to renew just yet? Um, Cause that might be part of it. I don't know, it's hard to say. They also might have moved, maybe they moved where it is so it's confusing, I don't know. They, they've been trying to do some changes with Prime. They're trying to make it so the streamers make less money from Prime too. Huge yikes. Um, Okay, so I guess we'll just keep sleeping. They made it harder to see. You had to go into the upgrade subscription tab to see it. Oh my god, they really do not want you selling with Prime. It costs them money and they don't like it. They really do not want you doing that. <laughs> that is so annoying of them. <laughs> Um, yeah, make sure if you have Amazon Prime or if like your family has Amazon Prime, make sure you're connecting it to Twitch and using that Prime sub. You don't have to use it on me. Just use it somewhere because you get a free sub every 30 days and a streamer will make money off of it and it doesn't cost you extra. Like you, you already have Prime in that case. Um, so it's, it's a win for everybody because it doesn't cost you any extra money and you're just using all the perks that come with your Prime sub and then a streamer is getting paid a little bit, so, um... If they don't want that, then why offer it? Well, they've had it for a long time. Back in the day, they had a ton of perks from Prime on Twitch. You used to get complete ad-free viewing everywhere on Twitch if you had Amazon Prime. That was like years ago, but when I first started streaming, anybody who had Prime had no ads. 
Um, and then it became like less, and then you just had the prime sub, and now they're trying to make prime subs harder, they're making prime subs worth less money to streamers, so they're really uh, pulling away. It's because Twitch makes no money. Amazon makes money, but Twitch makes no money. Twitch is like in the red. Um, so they're trying to get money out of you, but um, they're trying to make money off of it. Amazon's trying to monetize Twitch more, so. And they're trying to monetize everything more. <laughs> but um, there, I, it, it makes me worried that they're gonna try and kill like all the Prime benefits on Twitch completely. The sub with Prime, it literally gives you all the Prime perks for 30 days. You get all the emotes, you don't get ads on my stream. Or sorry, all of the sub perks, I mean. You get all the sub perks. So all my emotes, you don't get subs for, or ads for 30 days. Um, you'll get the sub badge next to your name. Um, and I'll get paid a cut as if you had subbed with money, except you didn't. You sub for free with Prime. So, it's pretty good. <laughs> Jim, thank you for the 40 months! And Marley, and Pud, and Orion, and Julia, thank you for the resubs too. Um, yeah, so you, you get no ads on my stream from being a sub, which is probably the biggest perk for most people. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and talk to this child. Because the more we talk to it, the hopefully the closer it will get to being ready to age up. No, don't, so don't do that. Just talk to, oh my god, I can't click. Friendly, small talk, talk to Levi. Okay, try that. See if that works. Okay. We have to, the rules I follow are getting two milestones in every category, except the life one, because I don't care about that. Getting born doesn't matter to me. So we need the coup milestone from social. And then we can age up. Yeah, I'm posting a YouTube video today. Um, it's a uh, build with the crystal pack is what I'm gonna post on YouTube today. So. Okay. How does the Twitch Turbo work for streamers? I actually don't know if they pay streamer- Because on YouTube, if you pay for like YouTube premium or whatever, people still get a cut um, for the views. I don't know how Twitch Turbo works. I think so few people have Twitch Turbo and Streamers make generally like very little money from ads that I don't know if I you don't need to worry about it. I don't think um, But twitch turbo is like you pay twitch to have no ads anywhere basically um, A kind of interesting fun fact get this um, my second channel more simsy which has significantly less subscribers and gets significantly less views than my main channel. Like for context, a video I posted yesterday got like 100,000 views on my main channel and my video yesterday on More Simsy, I'll pull it up, got, um, I can't even get to More Simsy, hold on. Probably like 5,000 or something, but I'll check. Um, got, Oh, I posted two days ago. Oh, but with House Flipper. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Um, 18,000 views. Well, I make more money from More Simsy from YouTube Premium than on Lil Simsy. Um, the like YouTube Red or YouTube Premium cut. Because they pay you like a percentage of watch time something based on like people who have YouTube Premium that watch your videos. And More Simsy makes more money off of specifically YouTube Premium, not from ads, but from YouTube Premium because the videos are so long. So the videos are like three hours long and my main channel ones are like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Um, oh, I got the milestone. Um, so more Simsy makes more off of that. But it makes sense that there's a longer video so the watch time is higher. Um, so you make a higher cut, but yeah, I think that's really interesting. <laughs> Cause you wouldn't expect a channel that smaller to make more money off of that, but it does. Not off of ads though, just off of that, but. Um. Okay. Let's come age this kid up. Oh, you all are going to school today still, right? Yeah, good. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I'd get more ad revenue from, from More Simsy than from a Twitch stream for sure. Um, more Simsy, uh, because the videos are long and uh, people tend to watch a lot of the ads, it has like a kind of high CPM too, um, which is different per channel, but um, yeah, I would make significantly more money from ads on YouTube than ads on Twitch, just generally speaking. Um, 
Yeah, the ads on Twitch are not that good, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, okay, would you like to add birthday candles? But but more Simsy, I think, is like a uh, in in the YouTube algorithm, she is like a gold star for what YouTube wants because it's long videos with a lot of ads and they can put a lot of ads in it and people watch through it because they like leave it up while they're falling asleep and then it plays overnight or whatever. Um, so it means they get to advertise a lot to you. So they like it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's how it works. <laughs> um, but also hi Dan. No, I don't know much about how the VOD watching um, works on, I don't know if you make a lot of money from people watching ads through VODs on Twitch. I don't really know. The whole VODs on Twitch thing, I don't know. Ads on Twitch just aren't that good. Just generally speaking, as like a person who makes money off of this. Um, well, Crossy, I don't want you to think that you, cause at the end of the day, like a, a single view is not, like you're not like costing me money cause you watch the, the VOD on Twitch versus on YouTube. I post them on both on purpose because people have preferences. Like watching it on Twitch is way better because you get the, the chat there. You know, um, but you might prefer to watch it on YouTube because just generally you watch more videos on YouTube. Oh, you're vegetarian, sorry. So that might be like more preferable to you. Like if I were to watch a VOD, I'd probably watch it on YouTube instead of Twitch just because I like YouTube better. Um, but you, if you're subbed, you might have ads on YouTube, but you wouldn't get them here on Twitch. So you wouldn't get ads and you'd have the chat. So it just, depending on the person and what your preference is, different platforms are better for you. Um, and I worry about it for, for you, not for me. Like, whatever is easier for you is what's better. Um, I, I just prefer, like, the video player on YouTube. I just find YouTube to be, like, a better platform <laughs> for that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the Twitch pods disappear. They, they're only there for, like, 60 days, which is why I post them on YouTube. Um, okay. Everybody off to school, please. We'll get you all your grades up and stuff, hopefully, today. So we can get rid of ya. Um, Twitch sometimes doesn't save your progress. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, I don't usually watch VODs on Twitch, so I don't have a lot of experience with that. It doesn't save your progress every time of where you were in the video. Oh my god. Well, that's like the biggest perk of watching on YouTube then because it keeps you because no one's gonna watch a three-hour VOD in one sitting at least not most times You probably like pause and come back as you're working on stuff. Oh That's so annoying. That doesn't keep your progress. Oh my god. I don't think I realized that I guess that makes sense Ugh. <laughs> Ew. That's horrible um, Okay, how pregnant are you? Third trimester in two hours, okay on mobile it does. I'm sure it's like maybe a sometimes thing because Twitch, she's a strange one. So yeah, and you know what else would be good? The Twitch video player. So on YouTube, you can go back in the stream when you're live. Like you can like click on the player and like scroll backwards during the live. Um, and you can't do that on Twitch yet. You have to, you can, you can see this VOD while you're still live, but you have to like go to the VOD and then watch it back. But on YouTube, you can like scroll back a second. So if I just said something and you were like, wait, what is she saying? You could like scroll back. On Twitch, you can't do that. Um, but I don't really understand because they had it, didn't they? At some point, I don't know how it works. Um, but people, people end up clipping things on Twitch a lot. If they miss something that I said, they'll clip it so they could see it again. Um, yeah, and the VOD is also delayed, so it's kind of annoying to go back like 30 seconds because the VOD is delayed a couple minutes. It's just weird. Um, when I switch to streaming on YouTube, I, um, I think generally, I know I'm complaining about Twitch, but generally I think that YouTube is a way worse streaming platform for like most things. It definitely has some things that it does better, but I think that Twitch as a whole is better for live content. Um, and I like the community of Twitch, like the vibes of Twitch. I think that like what we have here is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of things that I dislike about YouTube. It's way harder to mod. Um, and I, I think that like there is a benefit in my Twitch channel being smaller. Like streaming on YouTube on my main channel 
To be honest, I did one stream on YouTube and I didn't even know how bad it was because I turned, they have a setting where it like, it, it'll do like re recommended chat versus like regular live chat. And I turned it on to regular live chat, but it switched back on its own to recommended chat and I didn't know. So I wasn't even seeing the whole chat and I didn't realize. So I thought chat was slow on YouTube. Apparently that was not true. <laughs> Apparently, it was not slow. Um, and you can imagine that it would just be a lot more people. Um, also, by default on YouTube, auto mod does not show the streamer what's been picked up. Like it doesn't show the streamer like mod actions and stuff um, unless you change a setting. And it kept like defaulting my settings back. Um, so I found that quite frustrating because I want to see like what's being modded in my chat. Like I want to know what's coming up. I guess some people might not want to see it and I can see that, but I want to see it. So I don't know. It was just weird. This And it, there's no like in, on Twitch, I can check chat history. Um, so I can see like what people have said because sometimes there might be like a weird message where it's like, are you bullying me? Or is that a joke that didn't land, you know? And if I check your chat history, I can see, oh, you're here, you've typed uh, 500 messages in chat total, and this is the only weird one, then you're probably fine. But if it's your first message, I'm like, oh, maybe you're a troll, you know? So, you, cause there is context to that, where like someone who's here all the time saying something isn't as bad as like someone's first message saying it. Um, but you can't check chat history on YouTube like that. Um, you can't change the amount of time that timeouts are for. You get like stuck with defaults. Um, bans, but you can't really unban people. So you're banned, you're banned. Like, I don't know. There's just, they, they really need to upgrade their mod tools. Oh, can they check history now on YouTube? Oh, maybe they can now. They couldn't when I last streamed on YouTube. Um, maybe it's different now, I don't know. But anyway, I found it really bad. Um, lots that it's, um, that it's missing, so. Okay. Is this the new house? No, that we're gonna do on Friday, friend. That's for Friday. Um, very artifice, Bucky. Kelly, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, I don't know. YouTube is, it, it really has its perks in a lot of ways. I think that YouTube's, YouTube's blocking feature, um, is like the best out of any platform ever in YouTube comments, because get this, when you're blocked, you don't know. You can comment and it'll look like you commented, but nobody else can see it but you. So you think it's fine, but it's not going through <laughs> and no one else can see it but you. And when there's a lot of comments, like you won't notice really. Um, and I love that you can't tell that you're blocked. I think that's huge that people that people don't know that. Um, that's like way better than any other platform, I think. Um, so <laughs> they do have lots of good things, but also some bad ones. <laughs> Scream into the void, yeah, seriously. Um, it's a, it's a nice feature. You want me to join private club? What's private club? Whoa. Okay. I think some of these people must, must have been made by like, by people that we've downloaded from chat. Let me add Felix, I don't know. I'm not meeting anywhere with you. No way. Okay, have you finished this yet? Yeah, that one gets my performance increase faster. Okay, should we cut another gemstone or should I work on, actually I have some, I think I have some upgrading that I wanted to do. So I can go do that and try and get our skills up higher. Yeah. How was New York? Oh, it was great. I was telling chat a bit yesterday, but I'll give you a little rundown. So I went to New York. I didn't say this in advance because I didn't want to tell people where I was going to be. So they would be like, why are you going to New York? And I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go see my friend. Well, yes, I was going to see my friend, but also I went to the Stardew Valley concert. <laughs> that was the main catalyst. The reason that I went that particular weekend was that the Stardew Valley concert was in town. So on Thursday night, the day the Sims pack came out was the concert. Um, I flew up at like six in the morning. Oh, I drove to the airport myself. Very brave of me. I parked in Terminal C, which I hadn't flown out of before because it was JetBlue. So I was kind of nervous because it was like a new terminal. Um, it's a nice terminal, but I was nervous because it was different. I wasn't used to driving there. Um, but I drove, I parked, 
yay me. Um, we flew up to New York. We spent the day with Hope um, and her girlfriend Madison. We went to like a bunch of different vegan restaurants in New York, which was so fun. Um, we went to the concert. Uh, the next day, we oh, I went to the Transit Museum. So fun. The next day, I went on like a tour of a bunch of different bookstores in the city, which was really fun. Um, it was just a good time. So, <laughs> I loved it. We had a good weekend. But yeah, I parked at the airport. And then I drove home from the airport and I was proud of myself. Um, you always have to like, like you're like balancing uh, cost <laughs> of like, the Uber would have been more expensive than parking for three days, which is wild because it's $24 a day to park. Um, but Uber would have been more expensive um, both ways. And it was 4 a.m. So I was like, okay, that does not seem like a good idea to get an Uber at 4 a.m. I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna drive, and I did, and I did okay, it was fine. Thankfully, there was open spots in the garage too. The garage was full when I got back, but it was open when I parked there, so. Yay. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a train to the airport. Yeah, we don't have that opportunity here, so. Um, yeah, you can park at the economy parking lot and stuff, but it was, it was 4 a.m. and I was stressed and I just wanted to be close and be ready was my thought process. No, me and Dan both went um, to, to New York, so. Anyway, it was really fun. <laughs> I was really excited about it. The Orlando airport, she is a she is a mess sometimes. It was fun to fly out of the new terminal though, because they opened the new terminal C, like, honestly a while ago. It's been like over a year, I think, but I hadn't flown out of it yet. But we, uh, JetBlue and international flights fly out of it. So I got to fly JetBlue up to New York and they fly out of the new terminal, so that was fun. It's huge. It's so long, the new terminal. It's really different than the other ones that we have, um, and it's really far away from it, too. Orlando is a terribly laid out airport. You know, with like any other airport, if you have a connecting flight and it's like in a different terminal, you just get a little train and you go to that terminal and you switch in and you're fine. In Orlando, you have to go out, go re back through security and then into the new terminal again. in all of the terminals. Our airport is stupid. It makes no sense. It's laid out so bad. <laughs> it's laid out so bad. Um, everywhere else you can switch between terminals like post security, you know? It, but this is so stupid. Makes absolutely no sense. Um, it hap it's happened at like other, I guess like, you know, it happens at other airports, but like generally speaking, very busy airports. Orlando is a busy airport. We are a big, it's a very big tourist destination. Like why, why is ours like this? It's not a huge connector hub though. Um, I think it's rare that people connect out of Orlando, but um, anyway, our airport's not the best. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's okay. Um, oh, great throw up, thank you. How are you doing? A student, A student, A student. Oh, good, okay. I feel good about this. Um, American airports are all bad. <laughs> I know, compared to like European airports, American airports really suck. They do, they do. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you think Chicago is the worst? I, I like the Chicago airport. I think that people just complain about airports in big cities and like busy airports because they're so busy and overwhelming and lines get long sometimes. But also it isn't really that bad. I think that Orlando really sucks. Our lines are so bad sometimes, way worse than any busier airports. And I've been to a lot of airports and like we're laid out so bad. At least it's like you can navigate around them. They're just big, so it's kind of stressful. But I don't think that Chicago is that bad. I like O'Hare and I've been there a lot because my family's from Chicago, but um, I'd pick O'Hare over Orlando any day. LAX sucks though. That, that place is weird. It's it's laid out so odd because you have to like take buses around places sometimes and it's very confusing. We were in, um, were we in Newark? I think so. That one's laid out rough too. I had a connecting international flight through there and that we had to take like a train and a bus and another bus to get between the international back to domestic to like land, to, to go back through security again and like reboard our flight. And we had just been on this long international flight and that was, I didn't like that. I was stressed about that. It was too much, it was too big. Um, it's a weird one though. We had to take like three different types of transit though to get back. 
<laughs> okay, you are out. You're gone. You become a teen now. We'll blow out candles with you. Um, you hate Newark? Yeah, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. Bad. Happy birthday! I was very impressed by LaGuardia over the weekend. That was a good one. All right, add your birthday candles. You also have an A, so you can age up too. Okay, blow out candles for you as well. Happy birthday! Okay. That one's taken care of. Add the candles back again. All right, are you fine? No, your needs are terrible. Oh no. I would like to try and get this sim aged up today. I don't know if that's gonna work. I also think that people tend to have a very negative opinion of their local airport. You know, it's like, it's always better somewhere else. Justice for Stansted. I've been to Stansted, I think only once. I didn't like it. And I like Gatwick better than Heathrow. That's my final opinion. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I get rid of this sim then. I'll go do that first. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. <laughs> get rid of you, please. And thank you. Okay. Love Tampa. I've never been to the Tampa airport. Um, so I don't know much about that one. I guess it makes sense. It's like close, but far away at the same time. So why would I go there? Like, why would I go to the out airport that's two hours away than the one that's here, you know? Um, so I've not been to Tampa really. I have a negative opinion of Tampa. So I don't like the thought of their airport being better than mine. It's sort of like a rivalry thing. Um, I don't know, but I don't really feel good about their airport being better. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me get rid of these sims. Is there any of my households, my, my own children? They won't fit in there. Just some guys. Oh, here's my kids. You, bye. All right, let's go. At least Orlando has a scary statue of a man sleeping in a box. That's true, we do have that. We do have that. See? Small wins. <laughs> we got some things. Um, is Tampa a big city or is she small? Um, Tampa is a city. I don't really know what the comparison for big city would be though. Tampa is one of the bigger cities in Florida. Um, but compared to some places, it's not like a si big, big city. But it's a, it's a city, yeah. Medium-sized city, maybe? Depends what your context is. I would say that Tampa's probably a bigger city than Orlando is. Um, Tampa has, like, they have a football stadium and a football team and stuff, too. So there's that. Um, but, yeah, I would, it's bigger than ours. It's the third largest city in Florida after Jacksonville and Miami. So. Um, okay. Let's see. Put that back. Oh, these two Sims are, whoa, look. They aged up with the same hair. They're like complete identical twins. Look at their previews down there. They're the same. <laughs> They're the same. But the Metro is different. Like the Tampa area is different than like the actual city of Tampa population. It's, it's a big place. A lot of people live there. Same as Orlando. It's like quite spread out, so. Well, we've got little twins happening, I guess. Do you, would you care to cut some more gemstones? Let's do a skull crystal. Let's see what else we have. Nightlight, energy needs decay slower, easier to convince, romantic relationship, crystals, blah, blah, blah. Homework faster. Maybe I'll make some more of the simonite, I guess. I should come water this too. Maybe I'll water it first. Tampa terrifies you? Does it? Why? I've been to Tampa a bit. My dad's cancer doctor's in Tampa, so the poor guy has to commute all the way from Orlando to Tampa all the time. And that sucks. 
that I-4 traffic is rough. Um, but it's like, it takes like maybe two hours, but sometimes it's way worse, you know? It shouldn't take that long, but it does. It does. We went to see Taylor Swift in Tampa too. So <laughs> I guess it has that. That's a good thing as well. Um, okay. I think you two take care of your food needs. You're vegetarian also, so keep that in mind. This one, terrible skills. We'll work on that as well. You've had an internet from, from Daytona? That's cool. Um, I'm glad. That's fun that you got to meet. It's always uh, really nice to meet your internet friends. It's so special. Um, none of those are yours. Okay, you work on that one. You work on that one. We'll have you feed. If you had a choice, where in the world would I move? Oh, I don't know. Um, people ask me that a lot. I, I wouldn't, obviously I wouldn't pick Florida. Nobody's first choice is Florida. Of places in Florida, I think living in Orlando, in central Florida, I think Orlando is the best. But it's hard because like, there's so many places that would be cool to live, but it's like the logistics of it makes it so it's not enticing to me. Like the thought of my family being so far away is genuinely stressful to me. The thought of like, um, I don't know, like moving the cats across the state or like to a different country is like, whoa, like that is horrible, you know? Um, so it's just hard to think about it without having those concerns, you know? Um, but anyway. <laughs> I would I, I would love to live in the UK, but also like logically speaking, that would probably be um, not good, like too much. The move of that would be too much. Plus my family would be so far away. And the thought of moving my cats, like I, Snap, she's not moving. Like no way am I moving Snap across to a different country. You know, like we're not doing that with her <laughs> right now or ever. Um, she's too old for that. She's too fragile. That's just not gonna happen. Like there's no way, you know? Um, so that's that's like a thing that I can't shake the, the fear of that. Can't confirm driving 16 hours with three cats in the car is awful. Yeah, see, even driving is bad enough. Could you imagine trying to fly with your cat? Oh, like across the ocean. Oh my god. And like just she's too old for that. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much Um, Yeah, well, that's the thing some people have different like maybe you want to be farther away from from your family But I would not like to um To do that. I need I need their help too much <laughs> If you could live anywhere you would live here, but for free. No, I get that New York City is a, an amazing place to be but it's too expensive so if you're gonna, if you had to pick one uh, dream destination, <laughs> where you are but free sounds like a good version of it. <laughs> I get that, I get that. Um, yeah, was it hard? I know, uh, just cats moving to, you said you moved 10 minutes away and it was hard for them. Cats, it's, it's tough to move. It's scary for cats to move and stuff. So I understand the, the problem, um, you know? My brother, listen to this, my brother, he said to me, my, my brother worked over the summer last year, uh, like helping to clean windows and gutters and stuff for people. So he became like a little ladder climber going onto roofs, cleaning things. He came to my house the other day cause he was taking care of my cats while I was gone. And he says to me, Kayla, your windows look terrible. And he says, I'm gonna clean them. And your gutters too. So. He comes back, that's why he was here yesterday when I went live, because he came to clean my windows and to clean the gutters, because he said mine looked bad and he had to fix it. Okay, you're welcome to do that, Brett, thank you, but like... <laughs> what? It's very, I was telling my friend this last night, but it's hard for me to like, reconcile that... That is my little brother. Like, what happened to you? When did you become like that? Like you, you're, you've changed in a good way, but like you, <laughs> this is a diff, you, you're different now. Like this is different, the way that you're acting. <laughs> and I'm glad for it, but it's really very confusing. 
So, he still plays golf. No, he never played golf. He played golf the day he graduated high school. He and his friend went and played golf. And he's never played golf, and he never played golf since. One day, I could not believe it when he went and did that. I was like, what, truly, what are you doing? You've never done that. Who plays golf as their like post-graduation activity? Anyway. Silly. Okay, I'm gonna start crafting. What was it that I was using? The diamond? No. The alabaster? No. Oh God, it was white, this one work performance. Okay. I'm gonna get this so I can get the kids aged up faster. Um, after you graduated high school, you played Sims all day? Oh, I did too! Same thing here. Yeah, I think a lot of us probably did though. Um, such a harmless thing to do. Yeah, it's kind of cute. <laughs> it is kind of cute. Um, okay. Well, I'll probably go out. Did you finish watering this? Yeah, okay. I think that I might go out now after this and try and get some more crystals overnight. How long until you give birth? Oh, any second. Oh, yikes. Okay, we gotta pick a new person next. And then we can. Lillian Caliente? Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll have kids with her. You graduated through a PowerPoint, so there was no post-graduate activities. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I had for my college graduation. Um, and I streamed. So I also played The Sims that day. Um, Lillian Caliente would be a, a distant relative, a descendant of the Calientes. The original Calientes are all dead. Partially because of me. That's okay. Um... You use the bathroom, take a shower, go to sleep. Oh my god. Use the bathroom, take a shower, go to sleep. Okay. You! Oh, I forgot to age you up. You're ready to age up too. My bad. You played Animal Crossing all day on your college graduation? Yeah, that was a good choice. That was fun. Um... We had babies with, I think, just Don Lothario, but I had babies with both Don Lotharios because when I had kids with Don, um, the save was old, so we had old Don in the save, but it was right around when the Lothario, or the Caliente, sorry, like, refresh came out, so I put new Don in the save, and I had kids with him, too. So we had kids with both old and new Don. New Dawn Rising. Sorry, that's a reference to a musical called Waitress that probably did not land, <laughs> but, but <laughs> um, yeah, we had kids with both of them, so. Double, I guess. Oh, I paused, I didn't mean to do that. Happy birthday. All right, I guess you could use the bathroom and then go to bed too. <laughs> Bye, have a good night, thank you. And you add the birthday candles back to this. Come on. All right, good. Now, after that, I guess, did that person I called up, did they come here? I think they did, but I'm not sure. Focus the camera. Oh, there she is, okay. What was the Stardew concert like? Oh, it was so cool. So they played the full Stardew Valley soundtrack. Or, well, no, most of it, I guess. Uh, they, there's songs like, you know, like Sam's Band. They didn't play that. I was sad about that. But it's called Stardew Valley Festival of Seasons. So they play, like, um, through the seasons. So they play, like, a collection of spring music. They play, like, all the, all the seasonal music. And they do some other things, like they take you through the mines. They take you through the forest. Stuff, you know, stuff like that. Um, and uh, it was really amazing. I've never been to an orchestra before, so that was like really impressive to me to watch them. I thought it was so cool. But also, Concerned Ape came out. Concerned Ape is the guy who made Stardew Valley. He made the entire game by himself, like down to composing the music. So he was the composer of uh, the soundtrack and of this orchestra. Uh, but he doesn't go to all of them. Like it was a surprise that he happened to be there that night. Um, so that was pretty cool too, that he was there. I just, it was, it was overall a really cool night. I really liked, I really liked it. Um, 
So that was a fun opportunity to get to see. I'm really glad that I went to it. Um, shout out to Hope who managed to get tickets. <laughs> um, I was really worried about it because uh, they're coming to Tampa, but in May. And I can't go anywhere in May. <laughs> I, I have my fundraiser for the whole month of May, so I wouldn't have been able to go. So when I saw that, I was like, no, this is so sad. I'm going to miss it. But I hope I managed to get tickets for us in New York, so we all got to go. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, I was very excited. Okay, flirtation, blow a kiss. And the tickets sold out really quickly. It's, I think, quite cool um, how excited people are about this. Um, I find that really impressive. So... Um, anyway, <laughs> I liked it. And also, yeah, we watched Drag Race live together and it was the worst day ever because Plasma got eliminated. Truly a heartbreaking day for the Sims community, um, but it's okay. We'll get through it. Um, okay, we have officially kissed Lilith, Lillian, sorry. She has the same hair as Lilith, which is confusing. I'll get a picture with her. Um. Oh. What? Are you gonna take the photos or not? Hello? Oh, and you're sick. Yikes. Gone into labor? Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I was really sad about it too. I was really sad about it too. I l oh. Okay, I'm in a wall. Huge yikes. Would you like to try that again, maybe? Or will it be in the same place again? Probably in the same place again. Uh-oh. Please? God. Okay, I'll worry about that in a minute. I'll give birth first. Um, yeah, it's just hard. At any point, like... When you when you reach this point of, of things like drag race, oh, I was gonna try for, try to try for a baby. When you reach this point of things like drag race, you get quite attached to all of the people on the show. Um, so any any elimination I think is sad, you know. Um, I I talk all the time about how I love to watch reality shows, but I actually don't think I like to watch competition shows. I wish that we could um, I wish that we could just have everybody say the whole time. It would be fun for me that way. <laughs> Uh, hey, and Rosie, and Kaifi, and Red, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, come on, have a baby. Come on. This is gonna be a rough night for us. Oh, we're like glitched. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe I need to reload. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, have baby. Okay, no, she's gonna leave? Oh my god, I'll just call her back then. It's fine. What? Have the baby! I know that you can! Oh my god. Go have it at the hospital then. Whatever. Why aren't you in bed? <laughs> I'm too stressed! There's too much going on! Okay. Yikes. So, after the kid is born, we shall randomize a new name for it. This will be number 67. Oh, I should change the stream title to 67. I didn't update the title for 66 either. All right, so we always pick names off of our spreadsheet. This baby is gonna be number 1585. 1585, okay. Let's grab it. I'll put that on the spreadsheet. Oh, and also while I'm here, let me set this up for the next sim. What did I say that sim's name was? It was Lilith Pleasant, right? No, Lilith Caliente, right? Lillian, Lillian Caliente. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. What was the baby's name again? Okay, I grab it. I gotta be honest, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll get the baby though. It doesn't, I mean, truthfully, we could name them numbers and it wouldn't matter because we never even, we never even say their names. Oh, I set the spreadsheet up. I made it, Morphine. Um, I, I made the spreadsheet for us when we're doing it. Um, Slamel, sure. 
Schlemel. Schlemel. <laughs> we got it. I don't want to say it wrong because then I'll embarrass myself, but yeah, I made the spreadsheet. These are all names that were suggested during our charity fundraiser back in May. And then I made this so we have all the information on it. Um, but I think it's fun to have it like this because it answers everybody's questions because people get curious and they're like, oh, what was the kid's name again? You know, so when we have the spreadsheet, um, it helps people keep track of what's going on. Okay, unfortunately, I started a club gathering. So we're gonna have all these Sims over here, but that's okay. <laughs> we do not have on lay line on, no, intentionally. Um, we do not have on ley line on because on ley line, uh, I don't want to have twins. It sounds like why wouldn't you want to have twins? But twins are a curse in this. It makes you slow moving. So better to have just one at a time. Um, okay. So I got my mail. Do I have bills to pay? I thought I grabbed all of it. Did I not? Why is that still? Oh, there we go. All right, let me sell all of this. Sometimes you get crystals in the mail. But oh, I must have sold them by accident. Oops. Yeah, it might be Katrina's child because she has the red hair. Yeah. Simeon? What? Katrina Caliente and Simeon? Oh, I wouldn't have guessed that. I would not have guessed that. That's kind of fun. <laughs> okay, we'll try and have the kid with this sim. We'll kiss hands and stuff and then try and get pregnant. Wow, plot twist. I like the idea of having a kid with Katrina Caliente's daughter. I think that's fun. At first glance, you didn't think she was wearing pants. I guess I could see that because she's got the light pink on. It's hard to see. Simeon is one of the um, Realm of Magic Sims, the like special powers Realm of Magic Sims, oh. who uh, they teach you things. Try for baby, come on. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> there we go. I'll get a picture, don't worry. Don't worry. I won't forget. We gotta get pregnant first. Pregnancy is a priority. We don't wanna age. Are we actually gonna do it? Okay, while you're here, what, did you not sleep? <gasps> oh my god, you have school today. You are not very smart. Well, they've really complicated things for us now. Was Simeon one of the baby daddies? Maybe? Actually, I don't know if we've had kids. We haven't had kids with any of the um, spellcasters yet. So no. They must have died too fast for us to be able to do that. Okay, MC pregnancy. We are pregnant. Okay, good. Take a pregnancy test. We'll start there. I shall take a photo with Lillian. And we'll put them outside. Come on. Okay, good. That should work though, this photo. Oh, we've got our crystals in the back. That's fine. All right, you can go to school. You can go to school. You don't have school. Oh, huge yikes. Okay. That's fine. We'll make do. We shall make do. Um, okay, so we got that handled. I guess I'll put this outside. I'll kill her in a sec. Um... I'll kill her in a minute once we have probably slept a little bit longer. But let me put these out too. Also, there's ads playing, so we can't. I don't want to kill them without you being able to see. That would be terrible. Quick, sleep! Sleep! Okay, good. Study hard, study hard. If we can just get our thing up a little bit higher. You miss the baby daddy basement? Yeah, I do too, but having the micro home is really helpful. It's really useful to have a micro home. Um, oh, she's taking my trash out. Okay. Well, not self command, sorry. Sim commands, maintain sim, kill sim. Let's do death by electrocution. That one's kind of chaotic. 
Yeah, we had to get rid of the basement because we can't have a basement in our micro home. We we made a little sacrifice so that we could have a micro home. Um, so the graves are outside now. We have the game doesn't doesn't look like a micro home, but it is. The game thinks it's a micro home. Um, so we've got a lot of um, we've got a lot of bonuses this way. The only part of the house that's actually a room is this part. The rest of it is fake rooms. Um, so that's why. Oh my god, stop crying. I know you don't care. Um. I'm gonna have to explain it again, I think. <laughs> I can't show you in build mode because I'm not- I can't go in build mode because somebody's dead, but. Um. If you've never seen this, if you have Tiny Living, it's a very common, um, little bonus perk that people do to try and take advantage of extra- Oh my god, why can't you get to the baby? Can you actually not get to it? Why not? I'll move it, don't worry. Um, just let the sim die first and then we can do it. Also, end the gathering, because that's so annoying. Grim, you need to hurry up. Maybe the lamp is causing an error? I don't know why though, because I've done it before, but... Oh, she was a spellcaster! We literally just said, oh, we don't have any spellcaster graves. Now we do. Um, okay. Her name was Lillian Caliente, and she's the mother of baby number 68. Okay, cool. Well, we gotta put a spellcaster. I'll do that on my spreadsheet in a second. I'll show you guys what I mean by fake room. So the game thinks that it's only 30 tiles, okay? Um, so we have to like kind of sneak around this so we can keep our micro home perks. Uh, when you build a room, that counts as tiles. Now it's 36. We don't want that. We want fake rooms. So what you can do is build like three walls of a room, build an extra wall, and then move it in there. It looks like a room, does not act like a room. It's not a room. Um, if you were to draw the wall, it becomes a room. We don't want that. That's bad. But you see how a room automatically adds a ceiling and a floor? The fake rooms do not. Um, so that's all of the house except for the living room is made of fake rooms. Um, you can kind of see when I put the roof up, you see how there's only a ceiling here and the rest of it does not have ceilings and the lighting is kind of weird on the floor. That's because these are all fake rooms. There is a roof, so it doesn't like rain in the house. They're fine with the weather and stuff and seasons, um, but the game does not see them as being rooms. They're just walls. So they have outdoor lighting on the floors, but we tried to work around it and we just don't let it bother us too much. Um, but that way you still get, um, you still get all the perks, but you don't have to do any work really. Oh, let me move this quickly. Um, I guess I'll just put it out here because then I can access it easier. The house is on the gallery, yeah. And you can do this with anything in the game, any of the houses. You, it's just kind of annoying. You can't really do a second floor because um, you can't, I could put a second floor of a fake room up here. You can't put a second floor of a fake room on top of these. So you can't really have a second floor with it. You kind of can, but not really. Obviously basements count as rooms. So you can't really do basements. Um, lighting's weird. So there's pros and cons, but I, I am willing to like accept the annoyance of the lighting being weird for the bonus stuff. Does that make sense? Um, I'm kind of like fine to just deal with it. Um, and, and get all the skill gain extras and stuff. So, you can't have it all, but <laughs> it works well for what it is. All right, let's put that kid over here. And then I will get rid of this. Have a kid with Grim. I don't think that you can have a baby with Grim. You can romance Grim, but I don't think that Grim can reproduce. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that Grim can reproduce. All right, let me get rid of these two. Um, there we go. I, my sim has never been this tired either. You had triplet science babies with Grim, really? Um, maybe with cheats you can, but um, yeah, we, we are not, we're trying not to cheat too much with this, so. In that way, at least. Um, okay, 
Homework room is set back up again. All right. So, little child, would you please look at all your toys? There we go. You need to sleep. Why won't they sleep? Oh. Do I have my sleepy crystal? I think I put it in here. It's drained anyway. Oh well. Our whole house is fake, but not too much cheating. I don't, I mean, I know what you're saying, <laughs> but the, this is like, it's in the game. So I, I don't think it's too big of a deal to like mess with it and, and take advantage of a game feature to our benefit. Um, I think that like using mods and cheats to have kids with Grimm that are kind of buggy is not the vibe that I'm trying to do, you know? Um, anyway, I know you're just kidding, but <laughs> um, I think that the tiny home thing, it's, it's in the game, so I don't really find it to be as cheaty, I don't think. And there are downsides to it, so it's not like we're just, you know, getting perks with no no harm, but more of a hack than a cheat. Yeah, I mean, even you could honestly even say that the, the crystals are kind of cheaty, to be honest with how good they are, but it all depends how you look at it, so. All right, you play with your toys, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, and we've been killing all of our partners. We don't wanna kill, we can't kill Graham. That's terrible. Oh, that's right. On the spreadsheet, we have to think about a emoji that would work to make sense of magic. Is there a magic wand emoji? Um. Oh, there's a wizard emoji. Maybe that's good. There's a crystal ball too. Let me show you these. Um. I think that this one kind of looks like the vampire. So that's probably for the best, right? I think so. Cause it's similar to the vampire one. Okay. Um, oh, I don't have I don't have these on the key, but I guess that's fine. You get the vibes. So we have the wizard, we have the vampire, alien, vampire, uh, daddy winter, <laughs> who is also an occult type in my mind, a werewolf, the tragic clown. Um, and those are all the ones. The crystal ball is pretty, but I don't know. We can leave it for now. Okay, but why? What, like on our spreadsheet? It's just fun. We know that that sim was the spellcaster because we have it marked now. Um, okay, anybody get their grades up? You did. Oh, you didn't. That's rough. That's actually really rough. That's a huge problem. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna leave these two as teens in the house for a little bit longer because I would like to have them help me with the infant while they're here this weekend. So I'm gonna let them be. Is it raining in Florida now too? Oh, it's not raining right now. It looks pretty cloudy. Maybe it'll rain later, um, but it's not raining right now. Oh, my phone says drizzle, but no, it's not raining right now. Um, okay, well, you're, you fixed that. So let's come do some tummy time with your sibling, shall we? We actually made, I think, really good progress today. Um, oh, you know what I'd rather do? No, let's go look for crystals. We have the whole weekend to worry about this. We can't age anybody up anyway. Um, can't their ghosts still live on? Oh, are you talking about the, the dead sims? Oh, you don't understand why it's fun to kill the sims? And like, you confused because their ghost is still there? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just silly. I don't know. People really are overthinking the whole graves in the backyard killing the partners thing. It's not as deep as we're making it out to be. <laughs> it's just silly because people like you come in a chat and you're like, oh my god, what is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? And then we're like, haha. And then, I don't know, it's just cute. We have, we have them all stored. I don't know. It's the 100 baby challenge. Nothing makes sense. It's just silly. So... I don't know, we wouldn't normally kill Sims to this degree, you know? <laughs> so it's just kind of fun. 
Um, anyway. I am going to go around and try and find some more crystals. Although being here is probably bad because I just got crystals from here. Maybe I'll go to the Willow Creek one. Um, people say it's because it helps with the risk of having kids with the same person again accidentally. I'm not that worried about it because you would know. You're not supposed to have kids with the same person twice, but um, it also helps to get rid of Sims to make room for new ones. So that's a benefit. I don't know. It's just fun. Just time to be silly. We would never kill Sims. No. Of course not. Yeah, we should try and find a mermaid to have a kid with them too. We should like- Oh, I have no shirt on. Oh my god. We should try to find a mermaid on purpose. I agree. Alright. Let's just hang around here for a minute. I'll probably have you- Honestly, you can go fishing. Until we get some crystals spawning. And then we'll like look for frogs. We want the things to start spawning. But I didn't have much luck when I came here looking for crystals last time. That's a metal. Um, I was getting a lot of fossils and not really any crystals. Yeah, see? Fossils. I don't want fossils. Fossils are boring. Here's a crystal. Um... I guess we may as well get frogs too, just while we're here. No harm in that. Metal. I'm not joining the social media career. This is Willow Creek that we're in right now. We've been living in um, in Del Sol Valley though, the one from the famous pack. Okay. This is just the default Willow Creek Park. Nothing fancy around here. Yeah, we were just in Oasis Springs at the park, um, which is why I was worried they weren't going to spawn again. So I was going to try and do here first. Um, okay. Uh, am, I don't know. I'll probably get off stream soonish. I've been live for about three hours. It might say I've been live for two hours and 40 minutes. But that's because my stream died earlier. I usually stream for about three hours. Um, in case you're maybe just tuning in, uh, I normally stream in the morning on Wednesdays not on Tuesdays, but I'm going to a concert later. Um, what kind is that? Jade. Okay. I'm going to a concert later, um, so I won't be able to be live tonight. So I thought I would stream now so that we could hang out still. Um, but I should probably get some work done and stuff before we go. I have a meeting too. You don't care about this, but um, people, they sometimes will give you like a contact at YouTube. Um, and mine left, and now I have a new one. And I'm supposed to meet with them for the first time today. They're just gonna be like, Hey, Kayla! Saw your channel! It's not that interesting, but <laughs> I'll meet them. It'll be great. Um, okay, we'll go to... Del Sol Valley is where I live. Jeez, I'm lost. Do I have an outfit planned? I have- okay, I'm deciding between two shirts. I don't know for sure what I'm gonna wear yet, but I'll figure it out today. I'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be live in the morning tomorrow too. Yeah, um, I'll be here in the morning. Um, weird schedule this week, I know, I'm sorry, but we stream in the morning every Wednesday. And tomorrow, it's because I'm going to um, tour a rehearsal dinner place with my mom tomorrow. So we're on her schedule <laughs> for when she was able to, uh, to like leave work early for it. So <laughs> I, I cannot go, um, I cannot stream the afternoon tomorrow because I got that plan. Okay, you grab a serving. Oh my god, you're starving. Where's the kid? Whoa, it like respawned. That was scary. Here, come feed it. There we go. Take there. Oh, I'm 100% getting there early enough to see Chapel Run. Don't worry about me. <laughs> you think I'm gonna have an opener like that and not go? I always want to see the opener um, for the concerts, but um, I don't worry. I'm not gonna like not get there on time. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Um, and Lanbo and Sarah, Lala, thank you for the subs. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll post some pictures. I would like to do that. That'll be fun. So, I'm going to the Olivia Rodrigo concert tonight. It'll be fun. Okay. So, baby is fed. 
Baby's attention is low. I guess I could put the kid back down after this. You need to shower and take care of your fun need. How's the crystal tree doing? Not good. You can't even fertilize it again yet. Um, do you want to design? I don't know. I guess I was making like jewelry with the, what's the one that makes, oh, twins or triplets, huge, yikes. Um, what's the one that makes your Sims performance from school? Chance cards. I keep forgetting. Was it Simonite? Yeah, school or performance. Okay, I'm gonna have her do a couple of these because we can give them to the kids to get our school performance up. Um, okay. Toe and mouth milestone. Oh, are you done with your milestones? Oh, you're just not being taught. Oh, okay, I see. Let's clear that back up. All right, I think that honestly, we've made some great progress today. We've done some experimenting, like things appear to be going quite well. Is this one charged yet? Five hours until fully charged. This makes them gain energy faster when sleeping. Um, no, kids can't wear jewelry, but the teens can. So, um, we're hopefully gonna be able to help them with that a little bit on Monday. You might buy your TwitchCon EU ticket today. Ooh, I, I just bought my TwitchCon EU tickets the other day too. I'm, I'm committed, I'm going. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, I think. It'll be cool to go. So yeah, kids cannot wear jewelry in this game, annoyingly. Okay. The kids can be affected by powers, but uh, of them like this, when they're just out, uh, but they can't wear the jewelry. So this one, if I just put this out, they'll be affected by this. Um, because it's in like, like it's in their general vicinity, but they won't be affected by it because um, they can't wear jewelry. So the difference between these is the crystals. When you're setting them out, they affect like the the space around it in the room. So multiple sims at once can be affected by it, but it's stationary. The jewelry your sim wears, so they bring it with them everywhere they go, but only they are wearing it. So only they get affected by it. Um. So, infants have those earrings now though. Oh yeah, but you can't put them in earrings that you make. They make you buy tickets? Oh, to TwitchCon? Yeah, <laughs> they don't pay for anything. <laughs> they might, if I um, if I end up doing a panel, they might refund my ticket because I'll be like on the program. Um, but yeah, they make you buy tickets. <laughs> they pay for, they don't pay for anything at TwitchCon. Um, it's kind of funny because at VidCon, they paid for my flight, they paid for my hotel, they paid for my ticket, obviously. Um, they gave Dan a free ticket as a plus one. Uh, but TwitchCon, I pay for everything. So. Uh, but I like TwitchCon better as a con. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm comparing them because TwitchCon EU and VidCon are on the same weekend this year. Huge yikes. Um, but, but yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was also kind of, um, it's kind of weird that they don't do that, ever. I think they pay for some people, like, like the big, big, big creators, but not me. So, it's okay. I don't expect it from them, because they've never done it before for me, so. They've paid for some of my friends' things. It's, I think it's interesting, it must be different budgets, different places, because I have some friends that are like European Twitch streamers, um, that got flights paid for them when they came to TwitchCon US. Um, and, uh, I've never had that. Maybe Twitch EU has more money in the budget for that than Twitch US. <laughs> Did I reach out to them about it? No, get this, Allie, listen to this. Okay, maybe I shouldn't talk about this. Maybe I will anyway. So at TwitchCon, um, the past couple years, they have like, like a special access lounge that is like, above the partner lounge where it's like very private and the bigger deal is that it gives you access through the back door of the con like you can go in through the back entrance instead of the front entrance um which i've had for the last two twitch cons now um and was a 
game changer for me. Well, look, back up. The first Twitch con that they gave it to me, I didn't use it because they wouldn't give Dan it. Um, so I wasn't gonna go in the back door alone. That's ridiculous. In Vegas, they gave us both it because I was like, please, this is bad. Because in, in San Diego, um, last year, I would like walk through the front doors of the con, um, but there's a lot of people out there like waiting to go into the convention, just hanging around outside of the convention. Um, and walking through that, I, f I felt very unsafe because I was getting, I, this sounds bad, but I was getting stopped a lot, um, which is totally fine. Like I want to talk to people, but there's a, a degree of like, this is happening so much and it's pre-security that I feel like I cannot enter the convention safely. Um, and so I really did not like that. So I asked them at, for Vegas, I was like, please, can you give Dan the same access that I had? Because I, I don't want to go in the back door alone, but like, I feel really unsafe going in the front doors with that happening so much. So they gave Dan the same access that I had so we could go in through the back door and that was like way better. Um, but this year, <laughs> They said, we don't know, due to budget, we don't know if we can give you that same access. Which... I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't really see why they can't allow me to access the back door. Like, the same as- I just don't- that doesn't make sense to me. And it's because, like, budget, because they have a lounge, they, like, pay for food in the lounge and stuff, so I guess they probably have, like, a count they're trying to meet. But, like, I don't need to eat the food, I just want to go in the back door. And I don't see why they're being weird about that. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so they said maybe they'll give me that access to TwitchCon EU. Um, I don't know what the convention center layout is like in Rotterdam, so I don't know what to expect. But in San Diego, it's too much. So it's just so interesting to compare the two conventions because at VidCon, they had like so much security in the hotel. All, the hotel was completely booked out for creators and like staff so that you had to have a badge to even get into the hotel. They had cars bringing you from the hotel to the convention center. Like there was so much security at VidCon. And in TwitchCon, they had the creator staying in one hotel, but anybody could get into the hotel lobby. So people, when they learned that all of those Twitch streamers were in that hotel, they were just like camping out in the lobby. And I think that is really foolish. I think that they should have required, like, cause you can't prevent people from buying a room in that hotel. Um, because they, they're not gonna book the whole thing out, it's too big. But you could have like required them to show room keys to get into the lobby or something. Just because like, it's not safe to have people like camping around the elevators. Like, I think that a lot of the big, not me, I'm not big like this, but a lot of the big streamers, I think some of them ended up leaving the hotel and like getting an Airbnb because it, it wasn't safe in there. They couldn't get to their room because there were so many people just camping in the lobby. So Twitch is just not very good about, about like security and stuff at the cons. Like they, I don't think that they really are equipped to deal with the size of the creators that attend these things. Whereas VidCon has been doing this with like these giant YouTubers for so long, but I don't think that Twitch is like prepared yet for the reach that some of these streamers have. Um, and again, I'm not talking about me. I mean like the big, big ones, but um, people like Hassan and stuff where they have like so many thousands of viewers and like they're getting death threats all the time and like, um, I don't think that Twitch is equipped for that at their conventions yet. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it goes at this convention. We'll see if anything's different, but um, they, need to, they need to figure that out more and be more prepared, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Gabby, thank you for the resub. Um, but are you Chantel? I'm, I bought a ticket, so I'm gonna be going to the convention. Um, it'll be kind of fun. Is it VidCon where the shark happened? Yeah! <laughs> VidCon is where a guy in a shark costume was able to climb onto the stage and their security didn't do anything about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I get it. The thing is, right, like most of those people that are trying to camp out to see streamers, again, they're not looking for me. Like I'm fine in this situation, but the, the big ones, most of them don't have bad intentions. Most of them just want to meet you or get a picture or like say they saw you. But there are people that want to cause harm, you know? 
and there's no security in the hotel. There's no like preventative measures being taken and they know where you're staying and they know you have to come up and down this elevator. I can stand right in front of it and you will come out at some point. Like it's not safe that they know that because they like there are people that have bad intentions, you know, for some of those creators. So anyway, you are one of the big streamers. Not like that though. Some of these people get like 30,000 viewers, um, which is not the same thing, you know? Um, and like they actually have like stalker type threats happening to them and that's like not a joke like they actually deal with that a lot so <sighs> anyway <laughs> it's just interesting to to see what they'll do this time around and see if they'll uh, handle it better but um, it's really scary you just never know what their intention is you just you can't ever predict what could happen um, and it just takes one person with bad intentions to to cause a huge problem, so. <laughs> That'll be fun, I hope you enjoy the convention, it'll be cool. I've only been to TwitchCon EU once, I went to Berlin a couple years ago, um, but I liked it, so. It'll be cool to see. All right, I think at this point though, we've kind of reached a good potential stopping point. We had quite a few kids today. Um, we started working on our crystals. I think next time we play, I'm gonna try and stay out a bunch and find some more crystals, which will be good. Um, and see if we can get the one that helps with our needs, because <laughs> I want it. Um, and and then uh, as far as stream schedule goes, tomorrow we're going to play House Flipper in the morning. So we'll be here at this time again. Um, and then on Thursday, I think I said I was going to play Not So Berry on Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday, we're going to work on the new build for my Legacy Challenge on YouTube. So we've got a couple fun things going um, for the next couple of days. But um, I'm going to go over now and see who all is live. We can find someone to, to go say hello to. Um, I think maybe, maybe. Oh, you know what? Lucy, it looks like, is doing a charity stream. Um, and I would like to go over and do that. I think they're building a, a warehouse. <laughs> Literally, it says warehouse, warehouse, like werewolf warehouse but warehouse, <laughs> uh, which is kind of fun. <laughs> so we can go over there and we'll, we'll go say hello. We just did a thing like that a couple weeks ago. And I liked my warehouse. <laughs> it was a fun, a fun idea. Um, we'll go over and hang out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will catch you tomorrow. Um, thank you for playing Sims with me. I had a lot of fun. Um, I'll post some pictures later of the concert so you can see, we'll talk about it. It'll be a good time. And I shall catch you all in a bit, okay? Good night, everybody. Not good night. Oh my god, it's noon. <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> and stop the